Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Stardust Rhapsody. We would absolutely love it if you could like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check that bell so you never miss an episode. Last time, the crew of the Rhapsody was intercepted shortly after leaving a frozen tundra planet. The Rhapsody was pulled into a zone of discordance, and found themselves in a place called Nightingale. Will the heroes survive the Festival of Blood? Find out now. It's time to don your sunglasses, grab your instruments, and lend your cosmic chorus to our Stardust Rhapsody. Let's jam. Some say the universe is a song. That all things are made from the same stuff as the stars. And that every life is a note in the music of existence that echoes through infinity. So when you feel insignificant and alone, just remember, we're all irreplaceable parts of that grand cosmic melody, the Stardust Rhapsody. Space. You can find anything if you know where to look, and just as often if you don't. Having stirred at the base of an ancient temple, our heroes narrowly, narrowly made it out alive. Well, most of them at least. Attempting to make their way to the rendezvous point with the boss to turn in their mark, they inadvertently got caught in a tangled web of nightmares. Discovering the discordant, party makes their way to a nearby town, stalked by an unseen force. Have the hunters become the hunted? Conveniently, they've arrived the night before the Festival of Blue, <laughs> poising them to become the newest monarchs of the land, and granting them the resources to fix their ship. The House of Hank has entered into the festivities. Will they be crowned? Or they will they be trapped in Nightingale vale for all eternity? You find yourselves once again at the center of the promenade. You, by the entryway, uh, canopies of blood red cloth stretch out uh, in a celebratory fashion. Uh, you see food offerings of all sorts. Uh, some equivalent of autumnal fare. Uh, some worms. Uh, and just generally gross bugs. Uh, and around you, wrapped... <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> um, around you, you'll see the other, uh, the other three prime houses. Uh, on your left, the House of Stein, led by Amelia Stein. Uh, a beautiful patchwork woman, uh, ready to take on the day's challenges. Across from you, uh, you see the House of Emmerich, led by Lorian Emmerich. Uh, an old, well, not old for vampires, uh, but an older uh, gentleman of sorts, if you could call him such. Uh, also ready to take on the challenges at hand. Played by Jason Isaacs, right? <laughs> No, Oscar, Oscar Isaac. <laughs> right, right. Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I got confused yeah. again. Oscar yeah. Isaac, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy mistake to make. Yeah. Played by Oscar Isaacs, clearly uh, fashioned after the likeness of Jason Isaacs. Um, and just to your right, the final house, the House of Jasper. 
Um, they seem to be ready to take on nothing at all. Uh, as you hear, Grim, the gargoyle, uh, shout out the start of the festivities. Well, everybody, now that the house of Hank is here, uh, we can get ready to have fun for the festival of blood has begun. <laughs> Who wants to go first? <clears throat> <laughs> Isn't this like your yearly fucking thing? <laughs> Shouldn't it be more structured than this? Give me those bugs! <laughs> this is such a nightmare. <laughs> what? what is the first activity? Well, since you've spoken first. <laughs> 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 well, what do you what do you think you'd be good at? Wrestling, <laughs> pumpkin carving, telling ghost stories, or drinking goblets of blood? I mean, wine. <laughs> Anything but the stories. <laughs> how about how about you wrestle? Good <laughs> idea. <laughs> the boost get in there, try to break a couple of bones. I, I feel like I could be good at the pumpkin carving. I don't know. I'll wrestle, I'll wrestle. <laughs> you don't be good at you can, you're good at a lot of things, LaBouche. Don't hide that in a bushel of goo. <laughs> I'll walk over to what is clearly the wrestling arena. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, everything for uh, everything takes place directly in the center of the promenade. Um, as uh, the first activity is called out, uh, as the announcement goes out, uh, two ghouls walk up, shamble up. Oh, socks. <laughs> I'll say that. They just are upset to work. But uh, they lift out the sign-in table and move it out of the way. And in its place... Um, a quaint small uh, a mat with a cloth covering uh, they place towards the center of the uh, arena or in the center of the promenade uh, to create a square for a wrestling match uh, and in it you see someone step forward from the house of Stein however it's not Amelia Stein uh, it is one of her hands <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Top break, buddy. <laughs> it's, one, it's one of her hands. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> I can't believe her name isn't Francine. <laughs> <laughs> this is horseshit. Well, yeah. oh, Francine. Break every bone in their hand, Boosh. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, yeah. Um, so. <clears throat> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, you'll never beat me in, uh, in the arena. And you see the uh, gentleman that signed you up for the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see the gentleman that signed you up for uh, the House of the Festival House of Hank of into the Festival of Blood to begin with. Uh, what house Festival are you from? I'm <laughs> from the House of... <laughs> Sorry. I'm from the House of Stein. I just walked right over from their side. Do you wrestle often? We do this once a year. Oh, okay. So once a year. <laughs> <laughs> For the mouche, it was a Tuesday. He could have learned it was a Tuesday. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll oh. step into the arena and I'll oh. I'll start to stretch. I'll I'll limber up. <laughs> and he uh, he does the same. Um, you can see him. You move just across from uh, just across the the arena from him, and you start you start to limber up your form. You can see like gelatinous uh, enveloping moving I like out use my massive reach to go back. like 15 feet in both directions <laughs> and like up and like I touch my feet uh, it's it's an impressive display of strength and flexibility <laughs> uh, it's not going notice uh, he for uh, not striking an imposing figure uh, he doesn't take his eyes off you as you start stretching 
seems to be sizing you up uh, to understand what he's potentially up against. And he starts to stretch in a similar way, pulls his arm across. <laughs> As it pops out of its socket. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Stupid arm. As he just shows it back into place really quick. Mm. Gives it a quick move. Um, You'll never beat the house of stone. <laughs> Unlikely. <laughs> Can I ask a clarifying question? Yeah. Is this like a traditional, like Greco-Roman style wrestling, or is this like WWE AEW type wrestling? <laughs> oh, um, that's oh a cool the boots question. with the chair! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I look around for a steel chair because I can yeah. tell you which kind of wrestling. Uh, they're, they're now, uh, they're now ropes. They're now ropes <laughs> that seal you in that are incredibly bouncy. Should you choose to use them? Oh. Um, one second. One second. Yeah. Listen here, brother. A little mooch is coming for you. Yeah. From the game of the crop. <laughs> and I'm gonna clean you up. And I'm gonna make this arena look shinier than you've ever seen. Because I'm the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm ready to take out the trash. When you find out what Labouche is cooking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. We have fun. That <laughs> sounds pretty tough. <laughs> uh, and he starts to shamble towards you, and I would have you roll an athletics contest. Oh. That would be my pleasure. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> athletics, you say? <laughs> well, say um, and easy. just out of curiosity, uh, when I, am I attempting to initiate or escape a grapple? <sighs> Ooh. That's a loaded question. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm amorphous and I got advantage on them. <laughs> okay, then yes. You are advantaged in your uh, You're gonna need wrestle it. off. Oh, no. Oh, it's a donkey. Uh, <laughs> let's give me a 21 on that. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, well, I have rolled a natural 20. <laughs> so you also get a 21. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he will shamble for it. And, and lock you into a uh, grapple, and you'll meet hands uh, together as you kind of struggle back and forth. Uh, and for him being uh, patchwork and just an assembly of, uh, you didn't think this guy was going to be anything to write home about, um, but he's far stronger than he appears to be. And he catches you off guard uh, initially, uh, flipping you to the mat. <laughs> oh! Labouche, don't get hit by the the monster match! <laughs> it was a graveyard smash! <laughs> oh no, that's the movie he's using now! Look out! <laughs> You're losing to a government employee! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As he just come off the table <laughs> with the monster smash! Uh, and drops the people's elbow into you. Um, <clears throat> and athletics contesting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A natural 20. Oh, <laughs> well, that was a 5. With a 28, this time uh, uh, I, I, I've landed on my back and I look up and I know how strong he is. But I also know how weak his right arm is. <laughs> <laughs> and I look for, I look for that, dirty. that one inch hole where yeah. I can just sloop in and just oh, pop, pop the, the oh, shoulder out like that. Holy when I feel, shit. When I feel it unlock and double and double joint out in the way that it does, I will, uh, I will then like twist around and slam him oh. to the ground, on, uh, 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 flipping over him. <laughs> ha ha! Now who has the advantage? Uh, and there arm, is such a space in his arm, because if you have not gathered by this point, um, none of these people like to work or to finish their tasks. And so in the stitching as he was attempting to reattach it, um, there's a large open space left unfinished, Gross, um, which man. you're easily able to juice into. <laughs> Find the uh, connection of bone into slot. Uh, and then just pop out his yeah, uh, I arm. spatchcock that chicken. <laughs> oh! Oh! He's going to do the rest of what you described. Uh, uh, his arm separates. You hook from under him uh, in an arcing slam. Pin him uh, right back to the mat uh, as you take the next point. Uh, athletics contest. 
is a okay. point knockout. 13. 21. Get him! Oh! Hell yeah! You're heating up <laughs> only when I wrestle. <laughs> Get him, Sakura Goo! We're all the best the wrestler in the world! Um, uh, now seeing that I have the top of his torso uh, down against the mat like this, and I'm starting to pull his arm uh, uh, to make sure that he's secure, um, I uh, let uh, at the knees my uh, legs fuse, and I grab around one of his thighs, and I start to pull one of his legs up into a twisted position. I'm basically just like pulling him, uh, not in half, but uh, it's, his arm is being pulled uh, in this way, and it's like starting to bend his back, then his other leg is starting to go in the other direction. I'm basically just like completely pinning him. The only thing I have left to do is choke him out. I turn to Rhett while I watch this happen, and I go, uh, you think anybody around here is selling pretzels? <laughs> <laughs> go for some chicken piccata, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for Sakura Goo! I'm trying to like get the crowd up, and I'll use minor illusion to like boom my voice out. Sakura Goo! And you'll see that my outfit has completely changed. I have a bald eagle, uh, like, uh, <laughs> mask on. Man. And uh, I'm wearing, like, an American flag onesie. Uh, and he says, oh, we'll see if he needs to tap in his trusty sidekick, Sakura Red, White, and Blue! <laughs> nice. Nice. Roll a performance check. Oh, oh, oh me? No, 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 chocolate. Oh, okay. No, he's Sakura well, and you're Chicken Cordon. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's much better than what I said. Uh, performance, you say? Oh, gee, plus 11. Uh, Holy shit, 18. His <laughs> fucking legs. <laughs> um, uh, as you begin to just completely fold uh, this this patchwork person in uh, almost in half. Uh, oh. And Juggles, you, you are becoming a little bit successful at riling this crowd up. You want them to be in uproarious applause. And what you get is uh, very much what that maybe might feel like for them, but it's, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, he's doing pretty well. God, you people are the worst! <laughs> Why don't you cheer? Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. uh, <clears throat> like a Morgan here. You know, <laughs> Excited, yeah. you guys have uh, never seen yeah, her, like yeah. fist pumping. Sacred uh, blue! Sacred yes. blue! He's like totally pumped up by Chuckles. I'll, uh, oh. I'll put, I'll uh, kind of yank on my collar and I'll say, Yikes, who died? <laughs> and I'll be like, uh, blood. <laughs> blood for the blood gods, gold for the gold Make him bleed! <laughs> um, at the contest. Okay, uh, 25. I rolled a natural one. Okay. Oh. 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 You break it. Knowing, knowing that I, I am at the point that where I'm at, I, I, I just stop and I look You're around. Good. How do I win? Do I just kill him? <laughs> I, I, I ask, don't know. I ask you, don't, you don't kill in the in the wrestling combat. You just, you, I don't know, you just hurt him. Just do something cool. Listen to whatever Dandy tells you to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just do your cool finishing move! My cool finishing move? I don't know if I have a finishing move. Fuck we're goo! Remember what... What was the guy's name again? Remember what this uh, Frankenstein did to your brother in your elaborate backstory! <laughs> I will grab him uh, uh, at the waist, uh, releasing him. Uh, he flaps against the, the back of the mat before I slide him forward and then pick him up and full suplex. But because my legs stretch super tall, I go up 15, 17, 18 feet with a steel chair. I come from the rafters. Uh, completely <laughs> suplexing uh, 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 in in that direction. If he wants to split apart, that might happen. I don't know. That's up to you. It's like in 1998 when mankind threw uh, exactly. uh, 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 <laughs> you are of uh, your legs <laughs> extending up, and you loop back down in a seismic slam uh, as you just crash him into the uh, the the mat. 
uh, and indent the surface. And he does, in fact, just separate at all limbs <laughs> and body parts, like the clay, uh, like the clay minions in uh, Power Rangers. And I'll just uh, immediately sl- slop it back into my full standing f- uh, form, and I'll, uh, I'll I'll look out away. Like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! 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 Win the den! And the first contest goes to the house of Hank. I did it. I, I won. I won the, the, the wrestling match. You did great, my friend. Good job, Hank. You're winning. Uh, 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 there's at least uh, there's four houses. You won one of the matches. I assume we have to see who wins the other one, and then there will be a semifinal and a final <laughs> until there's finally one victor of this. Uh, Whole competition. Look, Pac, we don't have time for all that. <laughs> <laughs> we only got about three to four hours. <laughs> <laughs> Suits you. <clears throat> and now, for the next match in the Festival of Blood. The pumpkin coughing? Uh, is the stories? Somebody gonna f- f- put them back together? Or is like, is that it? Is he done? <laughs> There's a hand that like is like creeping up and yeah. like, picking up the other hand. <laughs> yeah. the, As yeah, he's yeah. Uh, landed into the mat and he's all split off into pieces, uh, you'll see ghouls come out and just pick up the whole arena with him on it uh, and just move it all out of the, wow. the promenade. Who would like to go next? Based on the volunteer system, Pike would like to go <laughs> next. <laughs> Pike! Uh, uh, he's such a brain trooper, he'll do whatever task you give him. I gotta be honest with you, Chuckles. Oh. I hate all of this. Pike, you seem like you'd be great at telling ghost stories. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there, buddy. You're going to do great. And frankly, you're probably the most capable person on this entire planet. <laughs> I bet that's the first time you've been able to say that. Uh, or at least of the people Chuck has volunteered. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that's also true. <laughs> it's just a, 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 a scary story? Yeah, a ghost story, yeah. A ghost story? It particularly has to have ghosts in it? No, uh, well... What? No! <laughs> I have to be honest with you. The rules of this game are not very clear. <laughs> Were you lying to me before? Was I lying to you well, before? Well, you just said you have to be honest with me. Were you, is everything you said before this just all lies, Pike? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <clears throat> so how does this work? Are there judges or? <laughs> well, yeah, there are judges. It's me. Like, <laughs> if you don't want to do this, I'll, I'll I'll tap in. Soccer, red, white, and blue will tap in. <laughs> we gotta do it for Hank. <laughs> We could also uh, see if one of the Oh, no. Of the I, I could never give up. Yeah, Chuckles, you tell the fucking story. <laughs> oh, oh, remember remember that time that Hank turned around the intramural women's volleyball team <laughs> and raised enough money to keep him going? No. Oh, we'll, we'll never forget. I'll never forget, <laughs> Hank. I'm doing this for you. Well, then it'll be Chuckles telling ghost stories against the house of Jasper. And... Oh, fuck! That's <laughs> cheating! <laughs> that sounds like borderline uh, performance-enhancing drugs. Well, at the Festival of Blood, every house gets to structure their own game. Well, the House Whoa. of Jasper always picks ghost stories <laughs> on account of them being ghosts. What is our game? Yeah, do we get to we pick a to game? game? Well, no. <laughs> oh. And the reason for that is wrestling wasn't intended to be in it initially. We just thought you'd like that one. <laughs> so we added it after the fact. So All right, right, game was wrestling. That's great. Good luck telling a better ghost story than ghosts. 
Once upon a time, there was me. Boom. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, there was a hook in the door. Hook <laughs> <laughs> door man, car man hook. <laughs> Is actually the story I would have told if I can't volunteer. I wanted you to do it. Uh, you can still do it. Nah, the joke's already been ruined. Uh, Plus, so, you'll be much funnier than Pikewood. Every good ghost story is told around the campfire. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Well, bring out the campfire. Uh, and you see a series of ghouls walk into the center of the promenade, uh, and they're all carrying, there's about 53 of them, and they're all carrying uh, loud mouth, wide rimmed William Bass uh, <laughs> displays, fish displays. Not the skeletonized versions, uh, but the true standard versions. Each one of them uh, held by a ghoul, about 50 in tow. Uh, and several uh, equivalent of Christmas trees uh, with deadening pines as they start to throw them into the center of this pyre that they've built and they all go up in flames. Wait a minute, was those from our ship? <laughs> <laughs> How many of these were you keeping around, Chuckles? <laughs> they throw Rex in. <laughs> oh, oh, the bounty. Oh. Damn it. Well, hold on, did it say dead or Wait, alive? I mean... <laughs> we can't prove those are his Oh, ashes. my entire collection! <laughs> no, he's got dental records, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, his teeth! <laughs> Will there be some wars at the fire? Well, how do you make s'mores? <laughs> yeah, I'm like that. Like, uh, never mind. Uh, s'mores. s'mores. <laughs> we don't have time. <laughs> I don't think we have time for s'mores. Yeah, they don't have enough of a whimsical bone in their body. They're not going to be a fan of s'mores, Dandy. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> so if you'd fine. like, we could put some maggots on moldy bread. Oh, uh, yes, very much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I do uh, are the ghosts going to tell their story first, or? Where's Chuckles going first? Uh, let's roll! I mean, flip a <laughs> coin for it! <laughs> roll a d20! <laughs> Tails! Uh, okay. Chuckles will go first. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> Fine, who goes second? Do I even choose who goes first? Oh, well, you didn't win. Fuck! <laughs> I'll go, oh, okay, I'll go first. Fine, Fine. you can go second. Man, got you the very accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just too much work arguing with people. Oh, man. The festival goes very smooth. You guys need to light some inner fire. We need, like, a full, like, jazzercise motivational <laughs> montage with you guys. <laughs> Get that fire back, or at least let this, light this whole place on fire. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Okay, well, so Clarence from the House of Jasper is going to come tell his ghost story first. Uh, and this, uh, this ghost floats out off the line from the House of Jasper. Um... <laughs> Shut up, Jasper. <laughs> Shut up, man. Quit doing that, I said. <laughs> Boo! You call out a ghost? You couldn't even hold the tiny ho. <laughs> hey, it's not your turn, man. Shut up. How rude. Rude. I'm trying to tell a ghost story over here. <laughs> Ah. He was cheering you on. Ah. He said, "Who?" Dandy, <laughs> <laughs> oh. you're right. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, any Derek is still in there. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows that the best ghost stories are just told by ghosts, and they're just stories. So, just look at Red. <laughs> here we go. Kick <laughs> back up against the old tree and listen to this scary, scary story. It's gonna be, what, what to be a fucking banger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what the 
the woman with the ribbon around her neck. Oh, shit. <laughs> <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a guy named Clarence. And Clarence lived in a modest but, you know, kind of fine house. Medium success. It was passed down, something his family held on to for quite some time. But then, the real villain of this story came. The tax man. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and you know what he wanted. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, what did he want? He wanted his cut. Oh! Oh, yeah. He came for a pound of flesh. Oh! But he didn't want flesh. We would have given that freely. Oh! He wanted. What did he want? <laughs> his share of money. No! <laughs> For doing I knew nothing. it was going to be money. I knew he was going to say money. <laughs> For doing nothing. Uh, nothing at all. <laughs> and then, what was old Clarence to do? Oh. They were coming for his old family home. Oh, no. They always couldn't do let that. that happen. Not the ranch. I just... <laughs> All or another basis Rat, someday. Rat's like genuinely invested in it. Yeah, all yeah. Of yeah. Like, oh. his oldest, people's oldest home. And he couldn't let that happen. Oh. So the second worst thing happened. Oh no. He got a job. Oh. Oh. Working. Working. 40 hours a week. Oh, he went right. from relaxing, sitting around, doing whatever the hell he wanted. But, but how much of his entire income did he get to take home? <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst part of it all. Oh, oh no! Don't after, say it. After ghost care. Oh, and <laughs> holy shit! And. Nightingale taxing. Oh. And nighttime taxing. Oh. And the governor's cut. And the governor's cut. Oh. And the king's ransom. Oh. It was 35%. Oh. 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 And he didn't even make enough to keep the house. Oh, just see me through this. Oh. Oh. I'm scared to talk natural 20. <laughs> I stabilize! I stabilize! <laughs> I turn into my suit, like my limbs and my, my head all go like that, and my entire torso just falls to the ground. <laughs> just force me shut because you can't be there! <sighs> and I defy you to reveal a scarier truth than that, Motlian. I. I Lightheaded. am visibly <laughs> I'm like visibly shaken. <laughs> I'll step up by the, the by the fire. Uh it's my turn? Uh, oh yeah. Well, he's done telling his story on account of he said he was done. <laughs> that means it's your turn now. Oh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, what was that? Uh, uh once uh, <laughs> There was a green <laughs> goblin. <laughs> uh, I think I heard this one before. Uh, and uh, he used to uh, look around. And uh, I guess uh, he did a dance. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am absolutely like rattled. No pun intended. I am I am bone trounceled. Yeah. It's the final scene of eight mile. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh man, that was terrible. <laughs> Who is this tax man? <laughs> As a smuggler, I've never paid taxes. <laughs> Why is this so scary? <laughs> oh, the hero we deserve. Well, oh. Oh. I didn't think about rules 
ghosts for how to judge this one. I count it normally only the ghosts show up to tell the ghost stories. Navy performance check. I have plus 11 ghosts. I can still salvage this shit with game mechanics. Well, why don't you roll a performance check at disadvantage? Oh, fuck. Triple disadvantage. That was a green goblin. Yeah, show yeah, up to dance. Hold on to that one. Natural one. <laughs> That's it. I'm keeping it. Yeah. That's a 12. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, that's it. And with a 17. Oh. Um, Yikes. Well, I think everyone in attendance knows who won this round. Oh. Oh, Hank, I failed you. I'm so sorry. The House of Jasper. Oh, he got in my head. Win. See, Pot, you would have done so much better than that. Mm. Chuckle, I still that don't get that at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rat, that was quite frankly the scariest story I have ever heard in my entire life. That's fair. Well, I will admit, every time you say, and the hook was still in the door, oh, I get spooked. Nothing will ever beat 65% tax rate. <laughs> <laughs> Except True. for maybe. Don't say seventy percent. <laughs> oh my! Everyone in the audience shudders. It's the big one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get a baby ass. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Just they, a little crown you the king of the story. Now. <laughs> yeah. oh. Gosh, need to pick up my Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> I almost lost my appetite. <laughs> I've got a full chicken plate, a pet plate of chicken piccata. <laughs> I will just like hang my head dejectedly as all like you hear a woo, all my color drains out of me. And I just am now completely black and white. I'm not gray. I'm not even like the cool gangster black and white from the casino. I'm just gray yeah. mime color. Mime I'm like, yeah. like Steamboat um, Willie colored. I can't even with a jaunty tune. I lost my spooky storytelling ability. Oh, I knew I'd lose my color. <laughs> or no, I'll take a step and there's no squeeze. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're not looking too good, Chuckles. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I struck out. You sure this plane is not doing anything to you? Uh, hold on. No, you, the way that you test the, a, a clown's health is by tr uh, conking his nose. <laughs> and it burns. <laughs> it's oh, all, it's like I have a juicy Squidward nose. You have a little penis in yeah. off your face. Oh, no. Uh, that story hey. really got to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> The discord and energy, the entropy of, I don't know what comes over me. That was a very scary story. And I just walk silently off to the side. Hank forgives you. <clears throat> He's in really bad shape. <laughs> <laughs> we have to win. We have to win not just for ourselves, but to save Chuckles. Poor Chuckles. And, uh. <laughs> and at least getting out of here. Well, mostly for getting out of here. For what it's worth, we have one win. The Jaspers now have one win. If we win one more, it's mathematically impossible for anyone else to win. Are you of volunteering? <laughs> Absolutely not. You've ever seen me carve a pumpkin? Well, it seems as though... Unless it's dex based in which case, sign me up. <laughs> the House of Hank has forgotten that we added an activity just for them, bringing the total activity count to four. Uh, We'd have to make well, sure that the Jaspers just, don't yeah, win Yeah, we just have to make one. sure the Jaspers don't win more than one, and we're in, we're in the clear. I can't believe we blew our event on wrestling. We could have chosen violent gunfire <laughs> or bounty hunting. I mean, come on. Yeah. Or just a gun. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been better for you. Nobody has any guns around Yeah, here. Who, who has the most functional gravity can? We would have been a shoe in. That's what I'm saying. Who would you have to use it? <laughs> And on to round three in the festival of blood. <laughs> you 
You know, Rat, this raises a question. What's oh, stopping us from just massacring all of these innocents? You know. <laughs> they certainly don't look like they have any kind of defense or weaponry or Pike, anything. Pike, I think he oh, uh, there. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Were you addressing me? Well, yes, you spoke, and by the all ancient <laughs> bounding <laughs> rules of the festival uh, of blood. All right, what's left? And laws of pumpkin carving. Don't forget the laws of pumpkin Get carving. Get a hammer. Just pumpkin carving? Idea. You can Well, it's pumpkin carving. I'm not drinking the blood. <laughs> it's pumpkin carving? I'm taking the pumpkin carving. I will drink the blood. No, it's wine. It's wine. It's wine. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. All right, Don, you heard her. Just I'm so doing pumpkin carving. Just so you understand your options, the uh, the final round would be drinking blood. I mean, wine. <laughs> I think I'll take the pumpkin carving. <laughs> okay, for sure. Somebody thought they were here for a good time. <laughs> I volunteer for sticking my hand in a bowl of peeled grapes. <laughs> yeah, the, I was thinking the exact same thing. No. <laughs> what are the chances of that? Well, I see you have selected the nightmare event. <laughs> <laughs> the tiebreaker. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. <laughs> Cut down on the cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, a handful of ghouls run out and they lift up the pyre in the center of town and they quickly shuffle it off. Uh, and out they present two uh, two chairs with with small like tables in front of them, like a like a personal desk almost. They walk out. They set two pumpkins down side by side, uh, and Amelia. Stein steps out from the house of Stein and sits down on the left side. Your weakness. And the first thing you'll... <laughs> it's Andy's weakness. Let's get it. The, the first thing you'll see uh, is out of her... From her side, uh, she'll pull out a scalpel uh, and twirl it in her fingers incredibly deftly before stopping it almost like a, a pencil in her hand. What dexterity? And you may take your seat. Okay, I uh, I walk over to the empty chair. I'll like pull it out. I'll sit down. I'll kick my feet up onto the table, and I'll light a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like you're taking this very seriously. <laughs> Hot damn! Look at those pumpkins. <laughs> And then I get, I, I'm motioning around everything around us, and then I motion it chuckles. And yeah. also those gourds there about to carve are pretty nice. Chuckles uh, has his color back. He's a little bit. He's like a little bit. He's trying to get uh, a little bit of red. <laughs> 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 um. And she does have very nice pumpkins uh, laid out in front of her, uh, and she's ready to carve. Uh -oh. If you think that you can take this not seriously, you're deadly wrong. Whatever happens, happens. Is it supposed to be a scary pumpkin? <laughs> Well, that's a good qualifying question. We didn't describe the carving portion of the activity. This is a contest to display your uh, artistic inclinations towards, uh, well, carving pumpkins. What do you, whatever you'd like to carve into the side of it, you need a balance of skill with a blade. And a mind for stuff that's pretty cool, I guess. Well, I've never done the pumpkin parvin myself. Is there a time limit? Yes. <laughs> Three to four hours. How long? <laughs> well, we've never run up against that before. We just know that there is a time limit. Oh my god, how are you gonna go like the king? I have to rule for it. Commit the memory. Uh, all right, let's just call it ten minutes. <laughs> well, that's a lot of commitment, but if you feel good about it, we'll say that it's ten minutes. All right. All right. All right, Pat. On Yay. your mark. He looks straight up close. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Hank's barking. 
<laughs> and do back <laughs> Do it for Hank. Save the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> I got a <laughs> Oh my god. I gotta step away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm all flies out of my mouth. <laughs> uh, roll uh. a sleight of hand check. Oh, uh, for what reason? To, to use a. There'll be a. There'll be a, so in, in front of you on this table. Uh, the pumpkin. Yeah, no, 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 continue. Please. A pumpkin sits in front of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, to its side, a serrated, thin bladed knife. Okay. Uh, and <clears throat> you may carve the pumpkin in whatever format you see fit. I spend the first nine minutes and 59 <laughs> seconds smoking my cigarette. <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, <laughs> While wow, she's just going ham on the pumpkin. Uh, Amelia goes to work. Uh, you see a little bit of maybe why uh, their their house is like this. Uh, very clearly, she has a deafness with the blade. Um, <clears throat> she moves with a fury, striking the pumpkin uh, incredibly well, cutting eyes, teeth, uh, hideous bolts attached into it. Uh, and by the end is crafted a uh, very respectable looking horrible pumpkin face. I mean, presumably before she starts to carve the outside of the pumpkin, she would have to carve the little hole at the top of the pumpkin <laughs> and just sort of like do one of these <laughs> get around <laughs> the side and then like start scooping everything out. <laughs> just like describe it, but very slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does that. When there yeah. are 10 seconds left on the clock, I take the final drag of my cigarette and I p- put it out on the table. I uh, I move, get my feet off the table. I push my chair back. I stand up. I point at the pumpkin, <laughs> and from the tip of my finger, an absolutely massive radiant blast begins. To <laughs> and then I say, "Bang!" And I explode the pumpkin in absolute just it, it just radiant blast. I blow the pumpkin to smithereens, and then I light another cigarette and I sit back down in my chair. <laughs> Oh, uh, avant guard, modern art. <laughs> oh yeah, modern art. I don't think he understood the assignment. Uh, <laughs> it's supposed to represent the futility of existence <laughs> and uh, oh, and the, uh, the, the 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 mess that our lives are oh, in. And how about at the end of the day, <laughs> that no matter what you do, everything ends. And it withers and goes away and explodes. Just like everything always does. They love that shit. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's a metaphor for entropy. Roll you know what a I mean? performance check out of edge. Uh, the best part I like about that is that I was essentially trying to lose. <laughs> performance? Okay, I'm not very really good at this. I could still lose. <sighs> I got a 17. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Did he say... Did he say entropy? Did he say, this is modern art. <laughs> There's nothing, so nothing scarier than modern art. <laughs> <laughs> the way he well, grasped the futility of existence. The way he brought about the end of all things in the form of pumpkin explosions. Think about how cool you look to all of your friends in academia. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, this would look really cool. <laughs> Imagine it in the office, sitting on the edge of the, the mantle. Just yeah. displayed for all, uh, all patients and to it, see. And it's so good that you need a little note card next to it to explain what it means, <laughs> it's, instead of it being obvious. Imagine! <laughs> Amelia staring um, at Pike with an, in a new light, she's just like, <laughs> That's pretty good. That's gross, man. That's gross, man. That is good. gross even for you, Doug. Uh, Amelia spins this scalpel and slams it into the into the Jesus. carving table uh, in an instant. Inspired. <laughs> I I literally look at Rhett like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, you you smile now, buddy. You disgust me. I live right over there. <laughs> oh my. I do declare. 
<laughs> uh, well, it seems by popular demand from everyone who would like to commission further pumpkin carving art from the contestant of the House of Hank, uh, Pike is this contest's winner! Yeah! Uh, Pike wins again! I stand up and I just say... I don't understand this place. <laughs> Good job, boy. You're killing it. And I walk over to I walk over to Rhett and the rest of the gang, <laughs> and, and I'm just I'm resigned. You did it, Pike. You did it. We uh, mathematically can't lose. <laughs> uh, I gotta be honest with you guys. I was trying to lose. Yeah, we know. Well, <laughs> it, you inadvertently appealed to their pompous sensibilities and their own insecurities for wanting to appear more intelligent and cultured than they actually are. Well. Sometimes you just get lucky. <laughs> and that's all we need. <laughs> Dude, I'll just look at Red like, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems as though it's time for the final round in the Festival of Blood. And our prior years reigning champs of the House of... Emmerich? Emmerich. Emmerich! Emmerich! I I'm just, I paused for dramatic. <laughs> I paused for drama's sake. You wouldn't understand. And you're not a showman. What? <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> you look at your film. <laughs> I'm a clown! You're about to do the monster match! <laughs> This place is really tearing him apart. <laughs> I'm like starting to drift apart. I'm like still, he's like becoming transparent. Your, future, like your eyes are going. <laughs> a balloon. Like back in the future when you can see through the hand. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's time for the blood. I Drinking am ready. Con- <laughs> Drinking contest. Um. The House of Emmerich sends Lorian Emmerich. Uh, and Ooh, the, nice. the, the ghouls run up. Uh, and they pick up the tables and they shuffle them away. I loved him in the Patriot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they return with a simple uh, like picnic table that they bring out. You sit down on one side, and across from you sits down Lorian. Um, in like front, ways or like directly across from you? Directly across from you. Okay. Her noses are yeah, touching. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> directly across from each other. Um, two ornate goblets uh, placed down in front of you. Uh, not ghouls this time, but vampire... Vampire hosts from the house run out and they pour a deep red liquid into the cup. Uh, into each. <laughs> well, it's time to get round four started. <clears throat> this is it amazing? I have no idea how I started that voice. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember where I began with that. Some of these things have, have it's, it's have really a drift voice. Yeah. I, don't think it's, I don't think it's where I ended. I think I'm very far away from where I began. But, well, it's time for round four. How do I win? <laughs> you don't die. Oh. Dan, you've got this on lock. Oh, do I have this? You have the wine. You have the contest. And you destroy the vampire. Do you understand, Dandy? No mercy. Blood! Blood! (laughs) The only thing you have on luck is your loss, little girl. And I'm just gonna growl at you. (laughs) Give me the blood. (laughs) It's not a blood, it's wine. We've described it multiple times. Give me the wine. Is anyone else really worried about Dandy? Yes, Kavir has. Dandy ever drank wine before? I don't think so, but you guys have known her longer. I think back to when we first found her. <laughs> My money's on Dandy. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dandy and I have had plenty of wine before, and we've just had we just drank grape juice out of wine glasses. <laughs> 
Well, yeah, every yeah. time a blue deck marathon comes on, I always hear bottles pop. <laughs> 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 Give it a game. Give it a game. <laughs> How do you know Andy and I do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not you can sing with us during Anime USA. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> well then. Bottoms up. And he raises uh, the goblet and begins to drink. Is that how you plan to hold it? Have you no class? And then I'm just gonna start chugging. <laughs> But I'm also, as I start chugging, I'm gonna like undo something on my back, my compost latch, just poop it open a little bit, <laughs> tip the bucket over, and I'm chugging, and I'm chugging, and I'm chugging, and it's just going out my back as I chug. Disgusting. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. <clears throat> As you begin to drink, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh no. You can do it, Danny. Oh no. I believe in you. Oh no. I believe you can twist it. Twist <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. Let the dude. 19. They, 19. I rolled a 17. Ooh. Wow. You didn't get wrecked, <clears throat> my boy. <laughs> you take the first sip of this. Wine. Uh, no, your that? pinky's out because you're classy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no. that's how Lorian drinks. No. I know, you were... F- you- <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay. Okay. Uh, you start to drink... Uh, just... I don't want to do it. Um, you start to drink just full-fisted. The wine uh, moves through your system almost instantaneously. Uh, it has a delicious flavor. Uh, mixes of blackberries, um, other things that are found in wine, commonly. Um, And blood. (laughs) And a faint hint of iron. Um, as you take, as you see, uh, you feel fine. Um, Lorian also seems to feel fine. Ooh. Um, and the charges from the House of Emmerich run back out <gasps> and refill the cups. Round two, then. I'm chugging. Like Roll a constitution saving throw. Oy vey. Oh, Chuckles, you should have made her like a windy straw. <laughs> oh! Can I twist it again? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> twist it again. Fear that's a great idea. <laughs> I'll reach it on my hat. No, one more twist, one more twist. Okay. Thank you, Trap. Oh. 13. Mm-mm. 13, I roll a natural one. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! Uh, a little, a little yeah. disconcerted from how you're processing mm. this uh, this uh, activity. Um, he, he shakes them. Oh. 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 <laughs> Wrong Oh. Excuse me, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> this guy sucks. <laughs> He's he years and he can't even drink wine. Oh, <laughs> uh, Dandy, the secret weapon. I'll pull out a curly Q straw, <laughs> and it's shaped to spell out cool, but the O and O are a pair of sunglasses. Ear. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, put it over my eyes and I say, no. The secret is to open up your jugular. And I like <laughs> no. try and get more and just keep on chugging. Oh, and they she come, they fill your cup. Go, 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 go. She did it. Um, and they come out. Um, and once again, another. I'm immune to poison. I don't know if that matters. <laughs> Alcohol is a poison. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a war forge. I'm forged by war. <laughs> <laughs> That's Danny's new voice. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm forged by war. I'm 70% of my iron. Hey, hey, it's like my mind's <laughs> full of wind stuff. <laughs> I'm drinking the blood. You seem as you roll the uh, concept. <laughs> for just for fun. Uh, it's a solid six. But I'm immune to It's magic wine, though. No shit. It is magic it's wine. Magic wine. It also it like magic you, wine. you might be magic poisoned. Mm. And you're not getting poisoned, you're getting drunk. <laughs> uh, as this round, you begin to process, and though it's moving through your compost bucket, 
Um, it does seem to linger just something a little bit in your system, and you start to feel its effects mm. uh, as it muddles your mind just a bit. Um, <clears throat> seems as though somebody can't handle their blood. I mean wine. <laughs> 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 another round. Another oh round. my god, which is it? I'm so confused. <laughs> well, it's not surprising you told a ghost story about a green goblin who walked around. <laughs> he looked oh. around. Oh, it's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> my nose like droops down. Too like, soon. <laughs> so bad I couldn't even remember the plot. Well, to be fair, he also did a little dance too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a constitution saving throw. Chuggles. Yeah. <laughs> a little ghost in me if it like floats up out of my body. What about survival? You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's not not okay, I'm gonna twist it. Yeah, twist it. How many twists do we have? Like a million. Oh, wow. Fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna do a ten. Try to twist it. <laughs> well, let's let's, let's, yeah, let's let it ride. Let's let it ride. You start to get just a little bit more drunk <laughs> as the wine, uh, <clears throat> and that's what it is, uh, expends into your. Uh, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> I swear! It's not a blah blast! <laughs> uh, as it extends into your form just a little bit deeper. Um, roll one final constitution saving throw. I was going to ask what are the rules for this contest? We'll see who passes. Is it d20, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh! I want to say we had one like, twist. We had like ten different dice. Different die. Different die. Different die. So we're probably getting close. I don't know how much we had from last, oh! last month. Seventeen. I rolled a five. <laughs> there it is. Twists. <laughs> in the in the finest. And then and then the ghosts. And the ghosts. And the and the, and then the. They had the goblin. And then the goblin. Yeah, he looked and, uh, around. <laughs> then he. That's who was it? He did, did a little thing. <laughs> and then the French. <laughs> As Lauren falls peace. back uh, in yeah. his chair. Um, and people go, oh, yes. <clears throat> it's over. Dandy, you Woo! did it. <clears throat> the House of Hank wins. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. Well, that seems to be correct. The House of Hank wins. We are now king. You now we can tax them. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Dandy, you told Count Chocula to get dunked in milk. I Bitch. Did. <laughs> what? That does not sound like me. <laughs> What? I said, I am war forged. <laughs> <laughs> what war were you in? A war. <laughs> oh no. Does war you know, ever the change? War. <laughs> the wine is affecting her now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're kings. Now, please release our fucking ship and we'll get the fuck out of here. No! Oh, so, I'm the festival of... Oh, well, our new monarchs get to name the festival moving forward. Nope, festival's disbanded. <laughs> oh, we didn't see that coming. A permanent installation of monarchy. <laughs> no more festivals, no more monarchy. Oh, this was the only thing we did for fun. Uh, well, why don't you mix things up and form a constitutional republic? Well, that sounds like a lot of work. You could spice it up. You could call it a bone-institutional amendment. <laughs> sounds kind of spooky. Or let's at least like pick your king the normal way, like through violent conquest, <laughs> as opposed to. <laughs> Spooky, spooky game! You could have a sacra coup! <laughs> it's amazing how many words rhyme with blue. <laughs> I've got a whole dictionary right here. Well, we'll have to consider a lot of those other options. But I suppose you're correct. It's time to crown the House of Hank the newest monarchs of... Nightingale, present your king. Go on, buddy. You earned it. 
<laughs> it don't walk up. <laughs> this is the back foot. It goes up a couple yeah. steps. This is the back foot. It goes up a couple more steps. Put up, put up, put up, put up, put up, put up. Skeletons come out. How do you make xylophone noises as they begin to play the uh, coronation ceremony song? Um, as they uh, they walk out, uh, and Grim floats down with a little crown uh, as it's been sized for mm-hmm. Hank. Um, uh, a uh, one that is this year's uh, was traditionally blood red. This is purple, uh, as they have since shifted the color. Uh, it comes down with uh, an odd emblem on it uh, that you can't quite make out um, as they place it on his head. Uh, well, congratulations to the House of Hank for, well, becoming the new monarchs and installing themselves permanently as the ruling class <laughs> of Nottonville. I think that's where we ended with that one. It was tough to tell. <laughs> anyway, I was, we've never had four houses before, and so as one final surprise twist to the <laughs> festival... <clears throat> to be fully imbued with the powers of a monarchy, the House of Hank will have to tell one final story. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got them. <laughs> can't we just oppress these people? <laughs> I mean, we're in charge now. We can change the rules. Well, it sounds them like our ship and we make them an army of undead. We can take over the galaxy. It sounds Together. like he's not king yet. We gotta tell a story and Chuckles uh, volunteer. No. <laughs> I can't follow up Dandy's perfect flawless performance. <laughs> I'm even more shaken than I was by the tax man story. <laughs> Dandy was flawless. Pike was flawless. <laughs> Labouche was flawless. Also, Rhett was there. <laughs> Chuckles, this is a chance for you to redeem yourself. <clears throat> I think Kavir needs to tell the story. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, by that, oh fuck, I know you meant, oh fuck, this is what I've been waiting for. The entire time, yes, that's exactly what I Kavir was is a great storyteller. That's what somebody once told me. <laughs> I've heard him at the bars and taverns and cantinas, waxing yarns. <laughs> What kind of story would you like to hear? Oh, well, thank you for asking. (laughs) It is sometimes pretty specific, but you don't have to tell it here. You have to tell it to the weaver. (laughs) What? (laughs) And as he says that, um, a visible and palpable Paul falls over an already (sighs) dim crowd. Oh, my God. Um, (laughs) You see, uh, Amelia looks out. Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> you mind not Uh, and the House of Stein scurries away. The ghosts, the House of Jasper. <laughs> oh, well, good luck. Um, Wait. head back to their home. The House of Emmerich. Um, uh, dragging Lorian back. Oh, the French. Oh, 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 What's From a certain on? point of view, oh, probably weaves tails together. <laughs> yeah, let's just get this over with. Oh, oh agreed. But why? Forget it. Let's go. <laughs> Good boy. Good monarch. Good monarch. <laughs> I'll, I'll follow behind uh, <laughs> Big gr- Grim Woman. <laughs> grim Woman. The W is silent. Oh, the W is silent. I will. Grim. I will look and I will mouth. <laughs> 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 no, say it ain't so. <laughs> I'm starting to think I like it here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, he's becoming a mark. <laughs> Not a beret. <laughs> we don't no. <laughs> I'll try to lasso in order to move. I'll try to lasso onto LaBouche and. <laughs> I, I just totally slide. Just watch him pull. <laughs> We, we don't like have much time. It's even worse than I could have imagined. <laughs> Isn't incredible? <laughs> I love the universal hatred sometimes. <laughs> well, follow me. We gotta go. We gotta find the way. Hey, is your friend okay? No, but he wasn't before we got here. So let's keep going. <laughs> well, he's looking better than he did when he started, but... Yeah. Yeah. It depends on the point of view. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's take a little trip. <clears throat> and Grim flies. Uh, slowly. Everyone can keep up. I'm not he's ever moved quickly a day in his life. <laughs> um, but he flies slowly uh, down the cobble path, uh, back out. Uh, into uh, back outside of Nightingale. You cross through the iron wrought black gate and you find a pathway that takes you back into the forest uh, and you hear uh, you, you hear the rustling of leaves which is strange because you haven't seen a leaf the entire time you've been here. <laughs> Um, you hear shifting, shuffling, uh, chittering, uh, as you make your way. And Grim flies very confidently. Um, he makes a twist and a turn through the forest as he moves. Uh, the hill starts to slope downward, um, as it almost feels as though it comes back around uh, as it loops in this kind of a U format uh, back towards Nightingale. Um, <clears throat> you walk not for a long time, but it feels like you move quite a distance. Uh, and you come and you go and you uh, make your way and you feel like you can see the town. Uh, off just a little bit beyond where you're at as you kind of slope under this hill uh, and into an entryway that breaks into the side of the earth. Uh, you step into a damp, dark uh, tunnel as you walk and you move. Uh, you feel something on your arm, you give it a brush. <clears throat> Cobweb here, smattering of leaves there. Uh, as Grim continues to lead you down, uh, down the way. Uh, well, there's nothing to be afraid of. I don't know why everyone always acts <laughs> this way when we start talking about the Weaver, because well, I think he's a pretty nice guy. <laughs> no, I mean I'm excited to meet the fella. I mean, we're just in the same woods as when Chuckles was telling us about the giant spider. <laughs> well, I'm sure the Weaver's totally unrelated. That's a very possible possibility. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My teeth are rattling soundlessly. <laughs> <laughs> you, as you're having this Don't conversation, to warn us. <laughs> you you <laughs> enter out into this large cavern, um, the, almost like uh, like dark midnight bluish black rock edges all around you. Uh, the ceiling impossible to see, shrouded in darkness. The edges of the room very difficult to see. Um, and just the, the very edge of your vision uh, also uh, shrouded in darkness. You can see most of this cavern, but there are spots that just the light doesn't seem to pierce. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, uh, and, and Grim, as he starts to talk, it flies uh, deeper into the cavern uh, as he'll, he lands uh, on the ground and he starts to walk towards the uh, darkness on the other side of the room. Uh, and he says, Well, you don't have to meet the weaver, uh, because he's me. 
Oh, fuck. Uh, and as he takes a couple more steps forward, his shape begins to elongate and stretch out. His form darkens and shifts and begins to turn black as he disappears into the darkness at the other end of the room. Uh, and you begin to see, and all you see, uh, significantly higher up in the air, probably about <clears throat> 10 feet elevated, you see two yellow eyes stare back out at you. You came to tell a story. There is only one I want to hear. And then, you can be king for the night. What do you mean? Is it some kind of fucking trick? I do quite enjoy my tricks. <clears throat> I regret that I had to pull you here. But you got caught in my web. But something else got caught in it first. It was you. Why? I've shrouded this place from the Empire, from their sight, for a very long time. These people have been under my protection of sorts. But that began to fade very recently. And I'd like to know why. And I think that you can tell me. What the fuck is he talking about? Uh, I don't know, Rhett. This place appeared after whatever happened on that planet. Maybe they're connected. Uh, I mean, we're certainly no friends of the Empire. There's no reason that we would have any hand in you suddenly being visible to them. You also said something else got caught before us. Yes. Well, not caught, per se. Something far stronger. Something far more disruptive. Pierced my web. Wouldn't be stopped by it. And its stench hangs upon you. And so, there is only one story I care to hear. What stench? And if I have to pry it from you, that is fine as well. Look, we don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If there's something we can help you with, then I would be glad to oblige. But unless you fucking help us understand what you're looking for, this cannon's not going to stay cold forever. The only story you'll hear is the one of your end. <laughs> Chuckles, okay. do you think that the W stood for Weaver? <laughs> oh, you can't talk. <laughs> I'll, I'll have the realization. That's so good. <laughs> and I'm gonna like start. My face is gonna get like start to get a little bit red. I'm gonna get a little bit more mad. And I'm starting to get, get madder and madder. And suddenly my colors gonna start to return. I just get. I go full like Queen of Hearts red. The W stood for with spider the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Was spider. Damn. Was spider. <laughs> <laughs> How yeah. could we have been so blind? <coughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I have an invisible pie here with your name on it, the spider. <laughs> Are you talking about him? And I will gesture to Labouche. Oh. You see the eyes move in the darkness. Uh, they rock back and forth, almost like a pendulum. Uh, it's hypnotic at first. You look at it, you catch eyes. They shift between each of you. Back and forth. Back and forth. Start and end. Uh, and they rest on the bouche for a moment. Um, 
Well, then pry it from you, I will. This doesn't have to end in blood. We don't know what you're asking for. How could we, how could we give you what you want? Oh, you'll give me what I want of that. I am convinced. <clears throat> the eyes disappear, uh, and immediately, uh, firing out from the shadows in immediate and rapid succession, uh, silver strands of weave all hit you almost instantaneously with no time to react. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> You are, or, and in a moment, well, we will draw a map. Oh! Wow. I'm scared. <sighs> Just like the W, you're gonna be silent in a second when we kill you! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, do you have a marker here? Is this uh, Oh, yeah, whatever we got. Color is not. Unless you have black or very dark blue. Does this work? Uh, oh no, use the. Uh, this. Yeah, there there yeah, this, this, yeah. This is the, the good stuff. <laughs> Here's a very light blue. That'll <laughs> yeah. yeah, be good enough. Well, I, don't we have the whole thing like oh. multi colors? Yeah, we, we have green too. Where'd you guys get these? Online, I believe. Amazon. Years ago. We need to get them. I feel like they usually dry out so fast, but that's cool they last so long. What the hell? Oh, it's a web. Bunch of rainbows? <laughs> Rainbow in the sky. <laughs> this ain't scary at all. Spiders gonna suck us dry. <laughs> <laughs> so take a look. You're gonna get sucked by fucking spiders. I can weave anything. Well, Spider is my favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> the Crooked Moon. <laughs> Back the Crooked Moon dot com. <laughs> we uh, just need a hundred thousand more dollars for our next stretch goal. <laughs> are we in the middle? It's D and D folk. Uh, you are not in the middle. Great oh. question. <laughs> um, I think that's bad. You. Uh oh. <clears throat> what happens is you are struck by these silver strands, and in an instant, they begin to wrap you up. They cast you all to the edge of the room, forcefully, cocooned in a spider's web. Uh, you are wrapped and stuck at, uh, we'll say just closest to me. Oh. Man, candy. Even Hank? It's a nightmare. I'm dragging Hank in this. I mean, he's there. And you may put those in front of King your Hank. tokens. Like one in front of each of us? Mm hmm. King for a day. Uh oh. Oh gosh, it's from Carathon. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm, putting, I'm putting Hank really and yeah, we're, we're, together. Yeah, we're six. tied up together. Yep. He's at my feet. We'll say. Uh, and I need everyone to roll for an initiative. Let's fuck it. Good guy. Hello, God. Fucking blood. Hey, my god, my dice. I'm not using that one. My dice. I got oh, 21. Shit. Ooh. Oh, 20 to 25. Rhett, 23. 21. 22. Whoa, whoa. I got a natural Labouche. 20. Okay. Mike and Rhett. I can't write it. Yeah, you write or die. Yeah. 23. Wait, actually, just kidding. What? You guys have to choose who goes first. Oh, you, you go, go first. You go okay. first. Everyone so, just calm down for a it's second. Too much Labouche, pressure. Dandy, Pike, Rhett. It's the best rule I've had all night. It's for goddamn initiative. It's because uh, all fucking God damn. I'm finishing off the twin snakes, guys. I'm sorry. Are you kidding me? They I'm deserve everyone. I'm gonna have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> not oh, the twin snakes. This, this is, is my favorite version of all time. No, no, no. I'm not gonna chuckle. I'm gonna die. 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 I'm gonna die
I'll, I'll have some of the Hershey's though. Please. I hate white chocolate, but it's good with cream. It's pretty good. Wow, really? Did you try yeah, these? They're very, like very not good, but it's worth trying maybe. What, the gushers? <coughs> yeah, they're not good. Oh, they are gushers. I can't tell you and how they're many sour. Of had. They're delicious. You've had the sour ones? Yeah. Take mm. these home to We hand. have like a palate of them at Take home. these to your wife. And I, got ah! one, and I got one craving, and now we own the company, apparently. It's <laughs> Gusha was my brother's name. <laughs> I, I, will take your, I will take your story from your body myself. Um. You see this descend from the center of the no, ceiling. It's in, like, it's in the dead the center oh of the room. Very the? slowly. It's a big ass token. Wow. Very slowly it begins to descend. <laughs> How we will begin is I'm going to start a clock. Your cocoons have 80 hit points, they have 19 AC. Holy you shit. can attack them. From the inside, every time you strike them, they lose an AC. Oh, oh, cool! And you have to break out oh, before the spider reaches the web. <laughs> Say it one more time, though. <laughs> uh, so before anyone starts, <clears throat> all interlude here. Uh, before anyone starts, there'll be a villain's monologue as the spider uh, descends towards you. To the web. Bless you. Um, <clears throat> your cocoons have 80 hit points. You can attack them from within Thank in you. whatever format you so choose. Every time you hit them with an ability, the AC drops by uh, one. The AC drops by one, so they become easier to strike. You break out, and then you can either help or you can move towards the spider, depending on the situation. No and when shit. I say go, you can just start rolling. Wow. You can all do it together. We don't do initiative on it. You just start frantically trying to break out. Oh, it's real time. Real time cocoon combat. Oh, um, any ask, questions? Yes, yeah. I have one question. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens if the cocoons have to make a saving throw? Yeah. Automatic loss. They, they oh, I'm burning good. through this motherfucker in like three rounds. Okay. Oh, they lose. They're not around. <laughs> what would you say? No, is the, I, I mean, yeah, I know. Yeah, you, I got, I got, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What would you say is the limitation on like spell casting? So if I need to move my arms in any way, or like that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, I would say you have a varying like you know you can't like flail all around, but the concept would be every time you strike it, you become a little freer, right? And so you can move a little more easily. Uh, but you know, like it's not stopping you from casting spells or anything like that. Okay. <laughs> but um, you have to deal the cocoon's hit point total before you are set free. Yeah. Are we tracking how many attacks it takes us, or? Yeah, well, the relevance of that will be the AC will drop every time it's struck. So you don't necessarily need to know how many hits it takes you, but like for someone like Pike, you can attack, like. But is it is it relevant? Who breaks out when? I guess is my question. Like in terms of, like of, of mechanically, no. do we need some sort of order? No. Okay. I'm, I'm starting a clock, and you Go all on. have to break out by the time the clock reaches oh. the time that I have. Oh, or shit. Let's say that your clock is 60 seconds. If I break out at 30 seconds, should I just help, like pause and wait for everyone? No, to no, you can do it. You, you can either yeah, help the other run. cocoons, or you can run at the spider. Okay. Those will be your options. Okay. Wait before you start. <laughs> okay. This, this uh, is real time D and D. Yeah. So now, how do you how do you how do you Everybody. handle how do you how do you handle spells in real time? Like I have this, what I my plan is set in razor stone. Sand. It mm -hmm. does it's only a matter of me a uh, telling it to everyone. Me. Mm -hmm. And the deck saving is sixteen, so it automatically fails, mm -hmm. and that means that the two within five feet of me would also get hit. Or is this mm -hmm. only going to affect the inside of the cocoon? I would say for starters, it, until you release, it will only affect your cocoon. God, I gotta stop. I can't stop. So I would just keep casting this spell potentially until it hits it. <laughs> yes, yeah. it does well, two d six uh, damage each yeah. time. So until effectively, I bring it you down would just to continue zero. to roll two d six until you total <laughs> eighty. Yeah. You so for you, you basically have the advantage of you like you can't miss. Yeah. Because oh, it's gonna automatically or fail dexterity right. throws. Yep. Is oh, it, or is I'm anybody... doing something similar. Okay. But but I can only do it three times. But right. that's gonna be enough to lower to sixteen, and then I'm just gonna fury blows my way out. Okay. Cool. Everyone get it? Yeah. Mm. Ah! <laughs> I need. I just gotta make sure I have all my dice. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. 
The clock starts now. All right, so that's going to be a hit on What's my the first one. Uh, 19, 19 to start. Once you do damage, it drops. Uh, nine. Okay, we'll okay, go ahead. Five, one. six, seven, eight, nine. And that's going to be... Uh, ten. <laughs> 11, 12. Oh shit, no, I don't And then I get to cast. Uh, 19, so, what I'm using is a class 19, feature that allows me to cast Burning Hands as a searing uh, arc strike. Uh, but I am flavoring 19, it as radiant plus. fist damage from my hands. Okay. Uh, so, that's going to be good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm up to 17. Nope. Its AC drops to 18. Nice. The Weaver descends. That's a natural. 20 20 the the Silken Thread. Nice, that's 20. Wow, that's the worst that's possible hit. natural point yes. answer. Possibly roll. Shit, that's uh, that's Shit. 20. Then I'm going to cast another Searing Arc. I'm three, struggling one, here. Four, five, six, seven. Nope. Uh, I'm going to do it again. Oh, that's yeah. three hits. That's another hit. Uh, I'm going to do that's this. Nope. Yes, definitely. Uh, six, six, ten, ten, two. fifteen. I'm up to five. thirty-five. Uh, the Weaver descends. Uh, Eleven and a two. Uh, that's another oh, nine. That's I'm up to forty. 16. I'm up to forty. Uh, now I can just start Fury blowing. Uh, multiple Three. attacks here. And that's going to be a miss. One's going to be a hit. That is ooh, eighteen. Uh, Four. I think I'm out. Uh, five, six. One, two, three, five. That's going to be another up fifty. Two more attacks. So then we do it again. Those are two hits. That's going to be. Another natural 20, that's going to be 7. Uh, 6, plus, 7, 8, 9, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 14, uh, plus 11. 10, that's 62. Oh, that's Two more attacks should do it. The Weaver the two hits. I'm out. The uh, I'm out. Yeah. I immediately break out and I use all of my movement speed to start attacking Rhett's cocoon. And yeah, I'm way behind. <laughs> another natural 20. One. Same. You can get there. You I can start striking out. in. Uh, and I'm uh, that's two more hits. What do you need? I need like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-four more points of damage. Okay, I'm out. That's very low. That's very low. What's your AC? Come on, buddy. The spider touches down. Oh yeah, you're eighteen plus twelve. Hold on. Okay, time. Spider just touched down. I broke out. Is that mechanically relevant? This uh, spider has to get to us before we got out. Of oh, so the the Stop moment out. then what I would say is the moment that I break Rhett out, I look at Rhett, I nod at him, I turn 180 degrees, and I rush the spider. Who's selling cocoons? I, uh, just, I chuckled. just all burnt. Yeah. I broke out right before the spider. I I pulled the last remaining uh, uh, cobwebs yeah. along with what I, I was at with 50, you. and then I had third, or I was at. Actually, I was at 50, and then I rolled my asset, and then all three of them attacked. Yeah. So it was all like, yeah. <laughs> I this really zerged yeah, down yeah, my yeah, cocoon. Yeah. I got two natural 20s, and both times I rolled minimum damage. Deck saving throw from number <laughs> Damn. five. You gotta fire those dice. No, I mean, well, they can't, they they can't pass deck. No, it's right <laughs> so that, Wait, number it's right five? The minion? Yeah. Yeah. It's just oh, those are the cocoons. Yeah, those are the cocoons. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. just a visual representation of got the fact that you're in cocoons. That makes sense. So did everyone get out? Barely? Everyone's out. I'm out. Yeah, I got out barely. I'm out. I'm gonna <laughs> cast Moonbeam on the. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can't keep this story from me. I love a good tale. What spider? What story are you talking about? This uh, is insane! Wish. It's your turn. I will go and I will <laughs> punch him in his with spider body. <laughs> his, his weaver was. Fuck this with spider! Uh, I need you to roll a. I need you to roll an athletics saving throw. That makes sense. I don't have athletics saving throw. Sorry, an athletics check. Athletics check? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, good. I'm not being grappled, am I? No. Well, is that relevant? Yeah, I get advantage if it's an athletics check, and I have, uh, and I'm attempting to initiate or escape a grapple. But it, it, I, I'm assuming you the answer is no. Um, no. Okay. Let's check it. You're on webs. Oh, good. Just my favorite. Twisted. Class, well, it's these dice. Uh, I don't know I how many twists we have left. Oh. Uh, not many. No, no, I mean, it de depends on how many we have from last month. We're out of the ones that I saw today. Oh. I'm, I'm a tank. Let's uh -oh. find out what happens when you fail these. Yeah, in case we need point. to I'd like yeah, learn okay. some information. I got a 12. Uh, I'm going to punch you right in your egg fat! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you say that. You also have come to realize that you are standing upon a woven spider's web, as the entire ground reveals itself to you to be the same silken thread, and you are now moving at half speed. And we're on it. Oh. And you're on it. You're wow. on a silver strand <laughs> of silken oh. spider thread. Wow. Okay. I can get here. And... Mm 
You can rage. I raged. Oh, I, ra yeah, I already raged when I was uh, doing this. Um, the ridiculous front But I made the mistake of choosing form of the bite. Uh, <laughs> can I drop rage and take a new rage? I don't think so. I think you have a feature that allows you to yes. change form. You can do it as a bonus action. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yeah, we we talked about yeah, that. We right, talked right. about that. Yeah, I will use my bonus feature. action to change to um, a uh, tail, feature. which gives me the reach property, which means I now have enough uh, to reach him from here. Oh, oh yeah. I will right. recklessly attack. Special reaction. Oh, sorry, I will on, get uh, 27 to hit. 27. Rooster That's coming good. in clutch with the 10. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so sad. Rooster, no. be fine. Thank you so much. Jeez. I'm not rolling good today. Punch this with spider and it's stupid with faith. A 27 and a 26 to hit. Both hit? Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. That's going to be uh, 16 plus 10, 26 points of bludgeoning damage as I stretch out and I just do a really long stretch arm stop uh, or I do a gum gum attack. Oh, nice. uh, thank you. Bam! Go, 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 I was waiting for you to say goo goo attack. You toss your fist behind you and it stretches out in uh, 20 That's feet really towards good. the back and as it snaps forward it rockets towards the spider uh, as you fire two punches straight at it. Um, mm. How much damage does it take? Uh, 26. 26. Bludgeoning damage. Nice. Points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Um, fortunately, I'm a barbarian. <laughs> Sucker! And I get a 23. 23. Um, as your fists land onto the body of the spider, uh, its head snaps towards it. Uh, as they come in and it attempts to sink its mandibles into your arms, um, but it just narrowly misses. Uh, Dan? Well, where am I? Behind the blue. Oh, I don't want to be Stop. directly behind them. I'm going to like kind of go over here, like swing over here a little bit. Who's rolling the wall? Oh, not that far. Seven and a half, 15. Oh, sorry, you have to movement? make a strength. Before you can move, you have to make a strength check. Oh. An athletics check. If you pass, what about survival? <laughs> if you pass a <laughs> athletics check at uh, fourteen, sixteen, four, fourteen or higher, you can move normal speed. If it's uh, below that, you're at half speed. Cool. I'm just it's stuck right to way. the spider webs. Um. So I, I'm just gonna try and stay at my distance and like just fuck this giant spider up. And I'm going to cast <laughs> Guiding Bolt. Oh, okay. um, and it is a ooh, 27 to hit. 27 hits, everybody. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, 27 hits. Yeah. Damage is 16 17, 18, 20 damage. Nice. 20 points of yeah. damage. Yeah, really and that. Cool. It's like a, it's the amber glow again that's attacking it. Just so you know. <clears throat> and that's what you uh, charge up. Your gem glows with an awesome power. Uh, and you stretch out that blast as it shoots forth. Uh, and that uh, ruby light, that ruby amber mixed light, uh, slams directly into the uh, body of the spider. And I believe also now offers advantage to the next person who attack. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there is then Pike. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, uh, is it just for one attack? Or like once it's, it's the consumed, first the, okay. next the, first roll, the next the first attack roll, the next attack roll, hit. Yeah. perfect. Yeah. Um, so right where we left off, I will have been getting Rhett yeah. out of his cocoon and, and seeing the dire of direness of the situation. Oh. I will uh, thank you. I will look you in the eyes for a moment and nod at you, and uh, then as you've seen me do many times, I turn and in a quick uh, flash of. Magenta, pink, and orange light. I use Starlight Step to teleport 30 feet towards the spider. Uh, and uh, you at as, me. A, as a bonus action. What? You nodded at me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. After getting I would out, like, back. To yeah. give you like an acknowledgement, like I'm I going know him. Not at him. Right. Um, I know that yeah. guy. <laughs> Uh, Go! <laughs> Y'all are secretly loved. Um, no, the chat, secretly. chat is gonna run away with that. Uh, uh, Starlight stuff is a bonus action. Uh, so then I will just make two attacks, both of them at advantage. The first attack mm -hmm. 
is going to be a 15 plus 8 to hit, uh, which is 23. That Move is the dice back. And the second one will be Move the uh, natural spike. 20. Natural Ooh. 20 Hell yeah. will hit. Let's go. So, I'm gonna add, so it's yeah. going to be... 10, 10 off the top from the pluses, and then I'll roll with the dice. This is the, Those the crooked moon coins. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, no, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 14. What did I say? Sorry. 12, 13, 14. Uh, get rid of those. Uh, 1, 2, uh, another 8. 14 plus 8 is uh, 22, plus 10 is 32 points of damage for Hell two yeah. attacks, one of them being a crit. Uh, and uh, I don't know, like 10 of that is radiant, if it matters. How much damage do you do? 20. <clears throat> After completing the starlight step, I will land and immediately deliver uh, two punches and a kick uh, to its uh, spider abdomen. You, uh, you axe kick in, you axe What's kick the do? cocoon of Rhett, splitting it half open. You grab him by the harness and pull him square out of it, uh, placing him directly in front of you. You give him a quick nod uh, and then release him. You uh, just bounce on your knees for just a moment before, uh, in a flash of magenta, you're by the spider. One punch, two punch, kick square into one of its legs. You deal a massive blow of damage uh, as all hits land. That's my turn. Uh, and right. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's cheap. Okay. I will. Uh, oh. Is this all just normal terrain? It is Everything is spider web. I just drew it for. Is it difficult terrain or normal? It is only difficult terrain. You have to make an athletics throw. I mean, an athletics check. If you fail, it's then difficult terrain. If you pass, uh, you've been able to wrench your feet. Is out. there a DC? I'm trying to hit. It's here. 15. 14. 14. Sorry. Okay, I pass for sure. Phew! Mm-hmm. I'll tr- rip my boots out of the web, uh, and I'll say, "All right, Hank." Let's fucking kill this guy. And I'm one, two, three, four, five, six. There. Mike, can you move Hank up 30 feet? Do either of them have to make an athletics turn? Oh, uh, Hank probably does too, right? Yeah, Hank would have to. To anybody who moves through the way. He rolls a natural one. Put him back. <laughs> <laughs> Put him back, three. Yeah. Put him back. Put him yeah. back. Yeah. He goes, Sorry, buddy. And he starts spinning back and forth and just getting wound up in the uh, the twine like a, oh like God, a top. Oh, God, what have I done? He's so cute. Um, First, I need to figure out... Can he do anything else? Um... One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm barely in range. Uh, I am going uh, to the. My engine will whir as you hear sort of this like gas being pumped into the um, reactor in my cannon, and I'm going to fire two shots uh, from my cannon at the spider. Ooh, that's a 19 and a 12. 19 hits, 12 will not. Okay. Uh, All right. So we can see somewhere between 19 and 12. Now yeah. we know. We do these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's bad. You're closing the window. Uh, yeah. 10 points of force damage. 10 points of force damage. <clears throat> you grab the ether cannon. <laughs> you fire out two arcing blasts uh, of of. Uh, uh, of this swirling blue energy as it fires out. Uh, one just narrowly goes over uh, as the spider moves deftly uh, and it is able to avoid one while the other hits it square in its uh, abdomen. Quick question to maintain game state. What was the save that Lelouch had to make? Was it because he made a melee attack? You don't know. Oh, oh so I'm good. Okay, just want to make sure I didn't miss anything that I needed to. Nope. Hank, Thank you. It's all clear. Thank Hank you. is going to use his action to dash. Mike, if you just move him up 30 more feet. Or, uh, 15 more feet. Sorry. Mm-hmm. There? Yep. <clears throat> That's it. Pass my turn. You move fluidly, and you fight together. I find that very interesting. And the spider will like click clack <laughs> through the web towards Labouche. Look at he clack. The Uh-oh. spider pops. Is he gonna get out of range of my uh? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he's have there. To. He's yeah. still there. If he he's wants a big to guy. Be, he seems pretty smart. Yeah. Uh, Dang. He knows a thing or two. Oh, oh man. 
don't know. Did you see how yeah. hard Pike hit him in the abdomen? <laughs> the sneaky spider. Yeah. Oh, wait, you moved within 30 feet of me. You fool. Is it 30 feet? Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. 23 and a 16 to hit. Uh, the 23 hits, but the 16 does not. Uh, the spider walks calmly towards you, uh, seemingly uninterested in the display of uh, ferocity and force that you've been able to put on so far. Uh, it lunges forward with its mandibles, piercing into your body. And I need you to make a strength. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Yeah. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Uh, I don't know. Dreads too. I finally, I finally oh, warmed up. Yeah, that's a really good point, Dread. <laughs> yeah. I finally warmed up. Before you do it, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Add to Cosmic Omen. Oh, to the twenty. Is that a reaction? Oh, it's right it's supposed to be before. His, yeah, it's like a reaction before his roll. Oh, okay. Well, you said it. It's like it's like going through a red light. You were already in the intersection. <laughs> <laughs> it just means clear the way. Yeah. Um, it's got to cross the line. <laughs> so that's gonna give me a 11, 19. Hell yeah! One more dread. Nice. Oh my god! I can't do that again. <laughs> Classic. To the one nine. <laughs> You take 12 points of piercing damage as the mandibles sink into you. Ah! This will hurt quite a bit. I only work here! <laughs> <laughs> I would say that I'm sorry, but that would not be the truth. Uh, and a silken strand will shoot up into the darkness, into the ceiling. It'll contact. The spider deftly and immediately uh, ascends into the darkness with you in its mouth. Oh. Attacks of opportunity. Yeah. <clears throat> if anyone has attacks of opportunity, you may take them. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck this guy up. <laughs> it oh. takes my reaction though, right? Correct? That matters. It does. Yes. Okay, I'm using my reaction. You got seven more dreads. Oh, oh, thank you, oh, Rooster. Oh, thank you, Rooster. Now we're talking. Who's side are you on? Yeah. Uh, so use them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah. murder yeah. them. Oh, I see. Um, just one attack. I got a 19, not a natural 20, so you're spared for now. Oh, uh, okay. Don't worry, I'm coming for that spider ass. <laughs> That's... was spabdomen. So uh, 12 points of damage. That's really funny. Uh, three of his radiant. That's really funny. Fighter That's weird. Weird. So as he... 15? No. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Thank you. Seven plus five, 12 points of damage. Three of it is radiant. Um, as I see uh, Labouche uh, in its in its mandibles, mm -hmm. I, I <laughs> am trying to stop this from happening, and I jump up and land another solid kick. Oh. Bang, right into its with spider abdomen. Is it a <laughs> dolphin kick? You like flip it. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 absolutely. Yeah. You yeah. montage yeah. back to your or training Sanji. session in yes. oh, yeah. Mockery I need, to, I need to mix some Sanji yeah. into this character's yeah. fighting style for sure. Really oh, good. yeah, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, kick, you must bloody take boots, red spiders. boots. That's yeah. right. You wolf in it. This spider deftly ascends up the silken strand. Um... And so you with Labouche and Toe. With Labouche and Toe. Uh, you do land your kick. You hit it square in the abdomen. It barely seems to notice. Damn. Uh, it's got 10,000 HP. As uh, it ascends, you can see it. Uh, and you can feel this, Labouche. But it starts to draw from you. Uh, and you take... Labouche is having a bad day. What can I use to... Oh, bad couple days. I'm like a Capri Ten. Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Capri Sun. Uh, 11 points yeah. of damage. 11? Uh, as you disappear into the darkness above. Uh, for a moment... Oh. They're making it out. You all hear that sound, and then... What the fuck? As Labouche crashes back to the ground. Oh my uh, god. 
I, I assume if I fall a certain distance, <laughs> I take damage, right? Well, you've landed onto the spider web. Soft web. Nice. So you've landed on the soft web, and it does catch you. And actually, as you uh, make that motion, as you hit the web, uh, and you bounce for a moment, it reminds you very distinctly of how the Rhapsody landed when it was pulled oh, to the planet. Sick. We were literally caught in like a, in a spider's, spider's web. web. Oh, All those people, shit. Oh, Mace, you're people were fake. You're fucking genius. It's fucking it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. To break us down. None of it's real. Yeah. And you were the most broken. <laughs> My poor clown. Oh. <laughs> Very susceptible. You get clown grease all over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not king? I <laughs> There's no one to tax? No! Ah! We are real people! No, I, I, I just kind of look around and everybody go, uh, now that we're saying it out loud, it seems pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> the spider descends once again, uh, back down slowly as it moves. Yes. Delicious. The beginnings of the answers <coughs> I seek. Chuckles, it's your turn. Give him the business. I'm gonna look at him. Give him the business! And I'm gonna say... I told you I had an invisible pie waiting for you and may Ma Chuckles forgive me and may God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> as I, as I, uh, I've been basically holding this the whole time and I look and I'm not holding anything. And I throw an invisible mime pie <laughs> at the spider. He's okay. gonna make a dexterity saving throw. This is like a scene in Hook where they have the. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's you're doing it, yeah. Chuckles. You're, you're believing. believing. You're, doing it. you're doing it, Chuckles. And I'm gonna use a sorcery point to empower my spell. Nice. Four, this is a seven. This is a seven. Sorry, fifteen. Oh, that misses. That fails. He ignores you because it just fails. <laughs> yeah. I'm uninterested Ooh. in your answers. Uh, it's going to take 14, 20, 25, 28 points of, I think it's bludgeoning damage. It's oh, ghost pie damage? <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah, catapult, like, baby. Yeah. Oh, catapult God. at a third God. level. And it turns and, out he's super vulnerable to that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a minus 12 to his dignity. <laughs> and, That's good. As I roll... <laughs> For wild magic. Oh, please don't trigger it. Oh! <laughs> Here we go with fear and again. It's only, it only we can trigger one, but if he's meta magic, it's one or two, and I got a two. <laughs> oh, no! It was, the, it was a I'm 28 so points of damage. It was 28 points. Really, only Kavir is in any danger. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is this the D, is the D100, right? Yeah, okay. Wow. Oh. It's gonna be a 41. Oh, 42 is so good. Which is one of them like turns. Oh, oh there are the there are hundred outcomes here. Mm. Good no, Lord. 42 is the um, oh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, reference, the potted plant. Oh, God. <laughs> May God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> and I turn into a plot of plant. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> is this after you do you do still do all the damage? Yes, but after so you I do the damage, it, you turn to a plot and of plant. I'm like. I, I'll say, I'll, th oh I'll think about the mime pie I just threw, and I'm like, what have I done? <laughs> and I'm literally a potted plant. You're the first boss from Cuphead. Yep. And what uh, that mean? I am what incapacitated, that? and I'm vulnerable to all damage. For how long? Do you have HP? Uh, until the start of my next turn. Oh, okay. God. So it is my normal, yeah. Oh, good. Do you, do do you, you change your <laughs> HP? Or does it... <laughs> Well, it just means that you can probably take a shitload of damage while he's in that Yes. Form. That's all. Yeah. And you can't use reactions, right? Yeah. So you have HP? I'm incapacitated and vulnerable to all no, damage. No, I'm sure it's just his damage. It's just his HP. It's, my, it's, my, it's just my normal So HP. if he were to get hit, though, it would be double damage. Oh, okay. And, and so, melee attacks or crits. When I drop to zero, oh, Jesus. I, yeah. I just, the plant breaks, and I just turn <laughs> to yeah. unconscious chuckles. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It'd be so much fun if you stayed a plant and like water you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True falling morph into a plant. Uh, and then basically, what, what I literally turn into is I just basically shrink and my flower on my lapel. Uh, it's just, oh, that's it's really it's good. just me yeah. in a cartoonish uh, plot and it's just a uh, pot and it's just exactly my flower on my lapel. Derek got you. 
Like, oh yeah, perfect. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You exactly. throw out that pie and you shift and and form back into this potted plant. The the lapel flower you wear becoming uh, your form. Uh, and Kavir, you just did. That's fucking hilarious. Uh, That's as crazy. I look down the now potted plant <laughs> where Chuckles was, <laughs> can be utterly confused. Um, I'm gonna cast. Um, I need to flavor this later, but uh, chill, it's chill touch. Nice. Um, so it is. Let me see. Is that, is what about me? Reverse, flavor. reverse time. Yeah, basically, it's well, taking, it's, it's taking it's, their yeah. I, I, could, I was mm-hmm. thinking of flavoring it as like speeding up time. Once oh, yeah. it, Once it hits, oh. it, to, to make up like the necrotic damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, good. So what is it? So it's eight, yeah, not reverse time. So my yeah, spell hit. Yeah. So I roll. <gasps> spell hit, right? I cast unburst. Yeah. It's as gross uh, as it sounds. <laughs> 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 Go back into your mother and implode. Uh, where's the? Uh, what's my spell? Oh, where's the spell? Here, right? So it's modifier Benjamin plus five. Button. All right, so it's oh plus eight, so twenty. To what? <clears throat> I guess hit when you cast a spell, right? Oh, That's yeah. what you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> twenty hits. Yeah. Okay, so then two mm-hmm. d two d eights. Sorry, oh, y'all. Uh, no, you're good. You're oh. good. New at this game. Uh, this is eight, right? No worries. Yes, so the ones that look like the little two diamonds, double-sided pyramids. Yeah, diamonds. Yeah, That's a better way to say it than double sided <laughs> No, no ass to ass pyramids, pyramids is the way. Ass to ass pyramids, yeah. perfect. The pyramids that have experienced a moon landing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, Whoa, six okay. necrotic damage, point. and it cannot it's like some gain uh, health until the start of mm. my next turn. In case that was a yeah, mechanic. I bet you it was. I bet you it was. Um, also. Is this spider of the undead variety? Roll a perception check. Uh, 14. It is not. Okay. All right, then. Uh, And then as a bonus action, I am going to cast my elemental gift of flight, allowing me to float. Damn. Okay. 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 So your legs disappear, and it's all just sand. Yeah, Yeah, it's the sandy, it's the nimbus cloud forms at your feet uh, as you move and you ride upon it. Um, Labouche, back to you. I am still bruised from yesterday. Mm-hmm. And now I've been diminished. I'm like a little bit shorter because I've been drank. Mm-hmm. I'm angry. <laughs> I will stand up and uh, I can already reach where I am. And this time I'm going to go for a leg and essentially attempt to like crab this, uh, uh, like Alaskan crab this, uh, oh this creature. This uh, awesome. If I can. Ooh, uh, so I'm going to make two attacks uh, recklessly. And that's going to look like. A uh-huh. 27 to hit, and a, uh, wow, why can't I do math right now? 24 to hit. Both of those hit? Both of those hit. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to do 27 points of uh, bludgeoning, bludgeoning damage as I uh, just continue to uh, 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 hit from one side and hit from the other side. Uh, you can hear me swearing in a language that none of you understand. Mm-hmm. Excuse my French. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my ooze. <laughs> you are... Uh, what did you actually roll before you added the modifier? Uh, to the... To your attack rolls. To, oh, uh, it was uh, 10 and a 7, so it was 17. And then I added plus Didn't 5 for the first attack. on something? Yeah, yeah, it's to hit, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. What did, what did you actually roll on the die? 19 plus 8. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're not no only angry, <laughs> uh, but you feel that very familiar hunger bubble back up within you. Um, oh, shit. And for a split second on one of your attacks, when you form your classic uh, hammer formation, uh, and you punch out with your fist for a split second, uh, and you'd only see this if maybe you're right next to him. Mm. Uh, you flash inky jet black. Oh my god, it's black flash. And your fist, instead of uh, a hammer form, takes a bladed shape. What? Uh, as you reach out and you sever one of the legs. Oh, holy spider. shit. 
I will use my bonus action. What uh, the fuck? My sh uh, shield will buzz light ear. <laughs> like that. I will use my bonus action, and a ten foot long tongue will go and lick the leg as it starts to fall off and disappear into the end of the oh, spider web. Oh, you what sick the fuck? fuck? Mm -hmm. Does the tongue go past? Is your, is your mustache? I, really? <laughs> I do <laughs> not <laughs> like this Labouche. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done with Shit. our kind, sweet Labouche? <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, yeah, Just yeah, for yeah. a second, you flashed inky jet black. Uh, do I quickly... notice? Do I feel that, or is it like? Oh yeah, you would feel you would feel something, but nothing. <laughs> you oh, would yeah. feel it as a, a physical representation of your emotion, Just your hunger awesome. for <laughs> your primal hunger to destroy this creature in front of you, and when you call for the might to do so. Your body answers you. Yeah. So I'm ready. Like I'm ready it's for more. Like I'm hungry. Kind of. <laughs> uh, that'll be my Use turn. Just plant huh? growth on me, Dan. <laughs> 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 you actually turn gig like gargantuan, <laughs> and then you have like a giant <laughs> tentacle smash. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Dandy, it's your turn. Yeah. So I don't get pack tactics for flavor if I design both spiders. <laughs> you have to, well, maybe if you attack yeah. the bouche. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you attack the party, you'll get pack tactics. You get um, sides to become a traitor. No, it's a point, the point is that you would have the ability pack tactics, but for that to work, you have to be in range of something else that has pack tactics. And there's also or a that ability oh, does not. I would have eight wolf spiders. So you have to be in a pack. I yeah. would, I'm gonna, yeah. My plan is to summon friend. a bunch of wolf spiders. Oh, it just well, says you're a spider. An and you yeah, have a bunch of wolf fair. spiders. Maybe. You that's a DM. DM. I, would, I would chalk that up to I'm, the DM rule then. I'm not in the DM chair. But. Yeah, that's tough. I would not have guessed it worked like that. What? It's not going to leave any allies with its yeah. within attack. Rules areas. as written is just if you have pack. Allegedly, yes. I'm not reading the ability. If you have pack tactics and you are next to an ally, it activates. Mm -hmm. I would think you'd have to be a part of a pack to have pack tactics. I think that's it. a very fair ruling. I just would. I just. I'm guessing. I'm well, not if you answer. summon a pack of spiders. Yeah. yeah. Different story. Yeah. Yeah. Totally do spiders story. hunt in packs? <laughs> they do now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, yeah, wolf yeah. spiders. Don't give them any ideas. You just, have to have the, you just have to have the attribute, and then if an ally is near you, then you have Yeah, that's, I, I, would that's not have, I, would I would not have thought that it worked that way. I like the idea, though. Mechanically. That's a, that's I'm a, just going to avoid yeah, it that's for what this says moment. In the in my way. Yeah, you got a bunch of other stuff you can do. Yeah. Right? Um, it's very complicated. I'm gonna move back. In order to move, I need Athletics to do the thing. Athletics check. And it's 14, so I pass. I assume. I'm just gonna go do a bit back. And I am going to look up at the sky and call on to summoning the moon. And, um, well, I'm gonna cast Moonbeam. Oh, yeah. I, don't know how else to say this. I don't know how else to say this, but. So you need to have a, a constitution saving throw. Love me some moonbeam. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how much damage it did. Oof. And this is only second level. And yeah. if you can keep concentration, it just yeah. keeps going. 13. 10. Um, oh, that's a fail, baby. That's a big time fail. You failed. Yeah. You failed. What would be a good spider? Yeah. Do you have like a, a good token for it? We need, and it's pretty big too. Is it a five by five or a ten by? It's five by. F it's five. It's one square. So like a little token. Five foot radius, a uh, forty yeah. foot high cylinder. Wow. Yeah, so, so it's just tall. It's tall. Well, yeah. five foot wow. radius would be four, four five cubes. Five foot wide. Five foot wide radius. Is yeah. diameter? Radius. Oh. So it's ten oh. foot wide. So that's oh, that's, wow. yeah. that's two by two. That's a t yeah. It's I two had by no two. idea. He's big boy. I thought it was medium this entire time. Yeah, that's perfect. Draw a crooked moon on it. Oh. <laughs> Just write the crooked moon. Yeah. 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 There's a guy fishing on Damn. the moon. A giant crooked uh, yellow moon beautiful. stares down at beautiful. the Beautiful. That is from perfection. Above. In this spooky Shh. Halloween town. In this spooky that's town beautiful. of really really sad. Sad. Halloween. So yeah. Skills I'm artists. putting it right on there. Spider. And it's going to make, spider. it's going to yeah, take. Wolf spider, wolf spider. This is sad. It's gonna take six damage. There you go. That's all right. But every time good. it like faces it every, living, every it turn, it does sixteen or it does two yeah. d ten. What does yeah. the save do? It, it means that they take damage. They take hmm. half. If they, oh, okay, okay. If okay. they fail. and yeah. if it's a shape changer, it needs to roll to be. I guess we already. It was a shape changer. But, you know, <laughs> this is normal. This is a no, true form. 
gosh, we had Moonbeam that fucker from the beginning. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Wait, what is what is the shape changer? The shape portion? changer makes it saving throw with dis at disadvantage. So you oh, it fails. Super and if it fails, it immediately reverts to its its Original true form. form. But we assume this is the true form, right? Yeah, yeah. I knew that was a pervert. You gotta you gotta revert Hold it as soon as I saw it. Uh, as the moon beam <coughs> strikes down on it, you'll see it, the yellow eyes of the spider grow, uh, glow fiercely for a moment as it shakes off the effects of the moon's beam. Oh, oh whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna say, moon, you typically do better than this. <laughs> I'm not angry, I'm just, just disappointed in the moon. <laughs> There's a I am just the disappointed of the moon. <laughs> so, uh, he, he's just gonna go get the necro sword and become Labouche the God Butcher. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! It's very much like that. Um, I'm Christian Bale. <laughs> uh, you will. All oh, gods are dead. Um. They let me yeah, use my action, please. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're gonna layer action. Dandy, right Rhett, and Chuckles. <laughs> What the fuck? Make a deck saving throw. I instantly fail. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have no hope. Underneath the group. Not team. Dex, underneath you say. 16. We're actually kind of underneath the crooked moon right now. We are. That's true. Fucking bitch boy, seven legs definitely <laughs> is underneath <laughs> the crooked moon. You got five legs officially right now. <laughs> um. Three strands of silken shred fire out from the spider. Um, one flies clean over the shoulder of Dandy. The other, Rhett, just sinks down. Uh, the mechanical arms help it to arc just over him. The third strikes Chuckles, uh, who currently, in his state, <laughs> cannot respond. Uh, exactly. For a moment... Following the same rules as before, you have 30 seconds to free him before he dies. Wait, wait, wait. Chuckles? Or everyone? You have 30 seconds to free Chuckles. Chuckles following the same rules as before. Oh my god! Damage. You may move uninhibited Quest if you need to get to him. I don't. <clears throat> I can just make a million ranged attacks. Yeah. I, I basically, I draw down on uh, with my Phoenix yeah. Gauntlet. And I just start firing off attacks. He's at 56. 11. 56 right now. I'm still filled with hunger. What's his AC right now? Only one other attack. I have 11 plus uh, 13. I've got another uh, 17. Uh, 17. Uh, th 30. Th 30 40, 44 points. I have of damage. We got it. So you Together landed we're good. on Aurorus. 12. Together we got and it. Yeah, we crushed it. What was in the temple? Aurorus, you said? Oh, fuck. Interesting. Did you reach 80? Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, we What we did you just it. say? Uh, we landed on Aurorus and we reached what was the in temple. Found we what was we found the what was inside the temple. So he like he like sucked the memories out of him or the black flash uh <laughs> alerted the spider. Yeah, one the, of the, the symbiota. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um you will take fifteen points of damage, Shuckles. <laughs> so thirty. <laughs> oh, no. Is that what vulnerable means? Yeah, I vulnerable yeah. all damage. Oh god. Oh, I love this. Uh, by the way. Fucking plant. Uh, mm -hmm. thirty points. <laughs> How dead are you? Do you die? I, I have eleven hit points. I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, your turn's coming up soon. My flower <laughs> will. Um, I will attempt to uh, move closer to the spider. I know that I have to make a strength saving throw, but I have 45 movement speed. So if I fail, I got a natural, natural 20. 20. Let's go. Oh! Oh! That's supposed to be my attack. Hell yeah. uh, I'm going to use uh, all of my attacks and a bonus point. Uh, sorry. I'm going to use two attacks and then spend one key point to do flurry of blows for two more attacks as a bonus action. So four total attacks against this player. Get another natural 20 right now. Yeah, I'm going to show it. <laughs> do it again. I think Aurorus is a... Wasn't that a Pokemon? Oh, Doesn't no. Sense, I was yeah. due for a miss here. A 16 is my high one, so the other one's going to miss. 16 is the AC. All right, so one, so one of the first two attacks hits. Uh, and then one of the next two attacks hits. That is awful. Unfortunate. Um, I, I wasted my natty 20 on a shitty thing I didn't need it for. Uh, that's gonna be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 22 points of damage, four of which is radiant. God, I would hate to see what happens if you hit with all four. How much was her? 22 total points of damage, four is radiant. 
as I just land two uh, blows. The spider web is moving, so actually I go for a kick and I I, I whiff because this, the web bounced oh, me a yeah, little too yeah, high. Yeah. And then I try to come down with with another punch and I miss because I misjudged the distance. You're learning the movement of battling on uneven, silken uh, terrain, uh, but even with that, uh, it throws off two of your blows. Uh, as we'll go to rep. Um, I will make a strength save for Hank. Oh, that might actually pass. Uh, that's like a 20? Right, it's a 8 DC oh. 16? Yeah, 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 And I'll do one for Rhett, too. Uh, I failed that one, so <laughs> I get stuck. But Hank is gonna run up here. Uh, and he's going to, uh, see that I'm stuck. And he'll run and he'll go, let's bite on, like, one of the legs. And just go, a little bit. Um, it doesn't look very menacing, but he will attempt to attack... Uh, oh jeez, is it actions? Is that where it would be under? Yes, okay. So, Hank will attack. That is a 20 to hit, yeah, so that hits. Yeah, get him, Hank. And then 1d8 King for a day. Three. Fool for a lifetime. Uh, seven points of force damage from nice. old Hanky boy. Uh, and then, uh, as <laughs> Rhett, I'm going to... I'm at half speed. I'm just going to back up a smidge. And take an opportunity attack if that is mm, yeah. what he would like to do. <sighs> you have a fuck ton of AC, right? 21. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, it misses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to uh, turn a knob on my cannon and it will start to glow almost like a, like a brighter color of, of ether and the middle of the reaction gets like a darker black uh, in the middle of the uh, of the swirl as I will make two empowered attacks from my ether cannon. Ether. Ether, ether, or ether. From, I, from either cannon. Oh. Fuck. Um, one of them will hit. Uh, that is going to be... Two... Yeah. There's stuff that I just 29 points of damage with a single attack. Built for success. Uh, there's Oh, yeah, that was just I can one cannon that. blast? Yeah. Damn, so you oh, fire no, out this cannon blast. I missed the other It lands one. squarely into the form of uh, this spider uh, as it takes a massive blow. Um, Where's the bush? To the left, to the, your <laughs> right of the spider. Yeah, the spider's so here. left, your right. I can also not as do this. Oh, that's fine. This, this, this is why I bring my glasses. Oh, oh perfect. Um, so you can just wear them. <laughs> the, yeah, so you just wear them normally. Uh, the spider will move. Oh, and then this is the thing. Aurorus. Ice beneath the temple. But what did you find? Uh, Where's he moving? He'll chitter towards. Uh, he'll chitter towards. Um, Labouche. Is he getting out of the moonbeam? No, he's uninterested. <laughs> if all he's doing is going to move straight at Labouche. If that keeps him in, that's fine. He needs to make a constitution saving throw against Moonbeam. Uh, he's still within five feet of Hank. 18. 18. That succeeds, right? Against Moonbeam. Yeah. 18. 18. Yeah. yeah. I think our spell saves are 16, right? Yeah. Now. Yeah, all mm -hmm. our spells are 16. Right now. Mm. Oh, you're attacking recklessly, right? Yes. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. You can fish for some crits if you like. <laughs> oh, no. I do fancy it. Um, <clears throat> 23 and 19 to hit. Both hit. Uh, and I need you to make a strength saving throw. Hmm. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think I see suited on that one. Oh, uh, real, sorry, real, I hate to do that. Uh, it's too late now, I guess. Hmm. Mm. Hank can impose disadvantage on one of the attacks. Uh, uh, but you've already rolled the roll. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, we'll do it next time. Give me a 15 on that. <clears throat> it 
its mandible sink into you one more time. Get off of me, one spider! <laughs> you take 15 points of piercing damage. It then fires a silver strand up to the ceiling and descends once more. Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Just straight up? Straight up. So he's still technically in the moonbeam. He, because it's forty feet tall, and you see thirty feet up, how, or how? how uh, I would. I mean, it's probably or, how tall like, is forty? I mean, forty. That's probably the ceiling. He doesn't pull me into the moonbeam, does he? Oh, yeah. Oh, probably. Yeah, yeah he definitely yeah. does. <laughs> oh no! Oh man, this is that no one shot. Uh, oh, Constitution no. saving throw. Oh, uh, oh yeah. 12, 12. Oh, the names no. we get. <laughs> I'm um, like that guy in Armageddon who doesn't get a chance to get his blast shield done and down in time. And he looks into the sun. Yeah. I'm being blinded in the same time I've got mandibles in me. me. Why not with me? Uh, okay. I'm sorry if this Roll is loud. bad. Roll yeah. low. Oh you no. Okay. Oh no. Oh. You get 10 damage. Okay. Okay. Is that a I'm a and barbarian. No, I can't die. Oh, that's thirteen. <laughs> that's fucking nine. That is six. Radiant damage. So you're not resistant. Oh yeah, no, I still took the ten. Okay. No, it's thirteen. Thirteen. 13. I still take an Sorry. additional three. <laughs> <laughs> what was that's your uh, What was your con save? Fifteen. Do you fail the con save for Moonbeam? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I got a twelve total oh, for my con save. He's hit. Uh, so as you see oh, the no. form of. Uh, as you see the form of Labouche lifted up into the air towards the ceiling, uh, and the moonbeam begins to bake him, cook him, uh, it's hard to tell if it's the shadows of the ceiling as he enters into the black, or if this happens before he reaches it. Uh, oh, but no. as the moonbeam sears him, he turns to an inky jet black. No! As he ascends to the ceiling. Oh my god, that is silhouette. And we all see this. If, if, like when you get up, if you would be looking up at a giant spider oh, yeah, time with your friend. Yeah. <laughs> in like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, arcade games, like on the cabinet, when you get a boss down to a certain HP and it starts blinking back yeah. and forth. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, and more damage, right? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what the... And Labouche crashes to the ground this time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this whole fucking illusory place <laughs> is going to turn. <laughs> As the spider starts to descend back down. What? I don't understand. Chuckles. What in the hell? Think. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I lived an entire lifetime! I had a wife and children in the plant kingdom! What happened? Oh! <laughs> it's, it's, been like, yeah. it's, 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 it's been like 24 seconds, right? Like, oh, Flora, I miss you! Uh, Flora. Uh, <laughs> little rose. <laughs> Uh, little sweet as uh, as the plants uh, will uh, the pot, my, the pot will blo uh, break as I'll reach down and say no you took everything from me <laughs> and, <laughs> and I know for you it's the equivalent of a Tuesday for you with spider <laughs> and I will take the potted the the shard of the potted plant and uh, just eat it and cast <laughs> catapult again uh, dexterity saving throw. The spider looks over at you and says, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that! <laughs> this is the best campaign in the whole planet. I'm going to cast again Cosmic Omen on you. So add four to whatever you roll. Nice. For damage too? Yep. Oh shit. Attack man. throw. Let's go. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not an attack huh? roll. It is a just a save. He's making a saving throw. Oh, it is a saving throw. DC 16. Ability saving Dex or saving attack roll. That's if he's making a save. Yeah, so he's not, he's not making oh. a roll right now. I'm going to so, use another. So save it. I'm going to use another. Uh, no, I thought you were hurting. Another uh, empowered. But you're damaging. I'm just. Roll, I roll damage in case. 19. Oh, 19. I'm not going to use this. This is for points. There's nothing that would 
<laughs> Nothing happens. Yeah. It totally misses. Yeah. It wild just flies magic. over. Oh. I still have to roll for wild magic. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, be <laughs> it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Does it reset once it triggers? Ten. Yeah, yeah, ten. Yeah. Yeah. It so I'm, it's a d12 now. The next time I use a spell, it'll be a, yeah. a d10, yeah. d8. Yeah. The dice goes down. Wow, that's pretty cool. wild. I love that. So so it is a very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you launch once again this invisible pie towards the spider as uh, it it is able to kind of just move and it you, you're a little thrown off just coming out of this plant form as you pop back and you act very quickly and and miss the the pie throw uh, and Kavir. What's up? It's your boy Kavir. Uh, <laughs> hey y'all, it's me. It's your boy. It's your boy, your boy. Kavir. Kavir. Um, this is, uh, this is tough <laughs> business. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to hit him with uh, the old trusty sandblast. Oh, yeah. Um, this two beams. Yeah, I do. Candy's so bad. You gotta hate bad candy. 22 uh, and a 12. But it always makes me feel like cute games. <laughs> In a good way. Hashtag work. To hit? Yes. 22 hits. 22 hits. Mm -hmm. And then it is 1, D10, plus 5, this is good. 6, 5, 11 damage. 22. And then additionally. Healing spells. Heal and additional amount. I need to have more healing spells. And then 1, D6 piercing damage, so 3 on top of that piercing. Um, so I will see Labouche having come down after being drained again um, <laughs> and looking worse for wear now all black. He's still jet black or he just nope. flickered? Just, just flickered, flickered jet black, black as he went up. into the ceiling uh, and it held for longer than before. But as he fell out of the ceiling, uh, his gooey green form once again is shaped. My, my blast shield is still down so my head is like wobbling. I'm bouncing back and forth on the spread. All right. Are um, they, yeah. real quick, are they totally disappearing out of, out of view? For, oh, okay. Yeah. Is it because it's dark? Yep. So I have dark vision. Mm -hmm. Probably. Was I able to see anything more while he's up there? <clears throat> no. Um, it is a strong, it is almost a void like covering of Conical black planet darkness. Like. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, That's yeah, cool. so I'll sort of swirl the sands around and almost in, in like a. Not quite a command man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, baby, it's more, 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 like a, like a board. Yeah. Uh, like like a out, uh, at the, uh, the sand at the whip spider. Uh, whips spider. out of the hourglass. Yeah. <laughs> Doing 11, four, so it's... As it forms yeah, around your hand and you cast it forward, the sands reach out That's a and strike a into the spider uh, once more. And it is back to Labouche. I will stand. Uh, I'm getting angrier and angrier. Um, what are you trying to do? What are, What is uh, uh, so fascinating about what has happened to me? What has had to happen to me? No matter. And I will swing in again and I will attempt to recklessly attack, just throwing myself at this spider. Uh, at this point, um, I'm mostly going for the face and eyes. I see that shine light, the moonbeam uh, being just behind them. They are glowing red and I am, uh, or whatever color they would be glowing. I'm sure that they're quite bright, uh, refracting the yellow. light from the moonbeam and I will get Her a eyes were yellow. 24, six, 26 huh? and a and higher, so I'm going to give you. Uh, and what do you actually roll on the dice? Uh, an 18 and a 17. Okay. Yep. Do I have a chance to just shout something out quick? Sure. Labouche, get the fuck away from that thing! Uh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> I, I hear you. Um, that's all. Yeah, that's all I can that's do. All I ask. Yeah, uh, I'll do that's twenty. I'll funny. do twenty-six points of damage, and then I'll like look over at Rhett and think about it for a moment, and I will stay where I am. That's wow. fair. That's very funny. And you did how much points of damage? Twenty-six. Damn, son. Um, you'll see. You'll see another tongue like run around over the course of my face, and then sloops back down and in. Uh, and you fire back once, once with goo goo missile uh, as you punch straight into the spider. Both oh, fists it. land easily, uh, and as it moves to dandy. 
Yeah. How's he looking, by the way? Oh. Thank you for asking. Roll a perception check. My pleasure. Also, is Labouche losing mass as he's being consumed? Yes. Yes. Mm. yes the kind of yeah. like, <laughs> you feel, <laughs> Labouche, you feel as though every time you disappear into the darkness above, you uh, experienced almost a familiar feeling where you're shrouded in perfect darkness. Wow. Oh, uh, great game. You... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you I take out a business in, turret. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Proximity madness. Um, however, you can hear, you can smell, and you can feel, but you cannot see. Um, but it is very reminiscent. Uh, and as you are having the uh, something drawn from without of you, you think maybe I would have my form uh, lessened or pulled or drained. Uh, but it is significantly more painful when this happens. Uh, and it doesn't take from you physically. Uh, it takes from you spiritually. <sighs> as it pulls on something with it. Uh, and what was your perception check? Can I use a twist? I got a natural one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's going to start doing a Tom <laughs> Hardy impression. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You think you oh. are. You should have gotten oh. better dice. Did you feel it, did you feel it, Jazz Labouche? You only should have bought some shitty dice. Maybe you should be asking why you didn't get better dice. Maybe, maybe you should have returned my poster maker. <laughs> he might be wondering why you would drop a man, why you would yeah. shatter the ball attack a man at before spider. dropping him 60 feet from there. With a seven. Why are you talking like that, Labouche? <laughs> With a seven. Seven, uh, you know at this stage, you've been in the combat for a while, you've seen Pike land several blows, Kavir has shot out damage, Rhett has landed massive blasts, Chuckles, yourself even, you've severed a leg, uh, a Dandy is hit with bolts, blasts, it has taken hit after hit after hit, uh, and you can't find a scratch on it. Oh my god. I haven't perceived that yet, though. Yo, it's all metaphorical, illusory It's bullshit. Dandy's turn. Dandy. Um, yikes. It's the eight spider. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna loot. Stop loot. Moonbeam. Gone. Lost concentration on it. Oh, oh okay. I'm choosing to make oh, that go me. away. <laughs> um. I can, no matter what my movement is, I can make it to um, Labouche. Yes. I'm just going to go right mm -hmm. next to Labouche. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to touch Labouche again. And I'm going to open up your visor a little bit. Stick my little fingies in I'll there. <laughs> and say, I want the cream Labouche back. And I'm going to cast Luster Restoration again. Same thing as before. He's not black currently, though, right? He's not black currently. Oh. No, I'm, I'm green. I'm, when I when he says that, I'm like flashing, like I'm blinking for a moment. Oh, 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 oh. Is my understanding. You're not mm -hmm. totally no, unwell so. right now. I'm still a little boosh right You're now. I mean, he's definitely I'm unwell. I did not understand. Yeah, he's yeah. definitely unwell. Yeah. You uh, might be gathering I mean, you might be, spiritually. You might be gathering the understanding that he is going through something. Something is happening to him. Potentially, if you're paying attention, if, you, if you're grasping when uh, these things are happening to him, uh, then it's clear that to a certain degree, he did not come out unscathed, and he's still processing. Well, then uh, instead of casting Lester Restoration, I'm going to still stick my little fingies and tickle, and then just give him a big hug. Oh, <laughs> oh. And say, I hope you feel better. I don't like seeing you unwell. And, um, well, we'll just put Moonbeam back, because <laughs> that's why I lost concentration, because I was trying to save him. Is that okay? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, you may so, just undo that. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You put your hand into my Z. face, yeah. it's like memory right foam. Yeah. Pretty uh, sure. Okay. Control Z. Control Z. <laughs> yep. um, and then I'm gonna, it's gonna, it's in Control the thing. Z. Ooh, that's 12 damage. Nice. Very nice. And as a bonus action, I'm going to change finally into my um, 
volcano form. Woo! Oh, Let's go, meatballs! <laughs> meatballs! <laughs> meatballs! Meatballs! Volcano form? Um, what floor is this? What? On a hit. Let's see, to hit. Let's see if I can hit this mofo. Damn it. That is 14 to hit. Twist it. <laughs> yeah, we got a few. 16 to hit? That's it. That's Hell yeah, I'm 16 to no. hit. And then it's 1d8 plus 5. Okay, so they're just 7 more damage. As I cast, a, I'm going to cast like an arrow that's going to shoot out. No, I don't have an arrow. I'm just going to shoot out from my palms volcanic stuff, like fire, like erupts, flame, right? eruptions towards the spider. Sick. Damn. That was seven points more damage? Yeah. Yep. It's a D8, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. D8. <coughs> um, it's the two pyramids on top of each other. The butt. Yes, yes. The moon landing <laughs> has occurred. <laughs> Pike. I'm going to use my last key point to make four attacks. To use uh, flurry of blows. Hey, you're good there. First two. Oh man, I was going no so high. Twist it. Twist it. Twist it. We're twisting them. Yeah, let me just. I'll twist each one once, if you don't mind. So I'll, I'll read you. How the many first more we got left? We have five twists. Left. I went from like crushing twenties and all that stuff. Okay, that's a sixteen. That was both both hit. hits. Okay. And the and next, next two, two hits. One of these is gonna be a natural twenty. No, uh, it'll be three of the four hit. It's a 19, so close. Three of the four attacks hit. Um, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 30, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 plus 15 is 30, 33 points of damage. Uh, four, uh, seven, eight of it was radiant, no matters. How would you like to do this? <gasps> oh, thank gosh. Um, thank Glob. <laughs> I would see uh, that, you know, oh, actually, that's a good question. We do see that one of its legs is missing, right? Mm -hmm. um, basically, what I would do is I would maybe sense weakness from this thing. Maybe I can't see that it has any damage to it, but I would sense something. Um, I would, uh, coming from behind it, because uh, it's focused on Labouche, I would essentially uh, use my swift movement to um, jump up onto its back, and as I land on its back, I'll land one blow, then uh, rush towards uh, its head and deliver two more blows to the back of its its head, trying to like find some connection along its uh, uh, you know back to try to almost break its neck um, the best that I can and deliver two final blows to the back of its head. And then brace for all of the all all horrific shit that's about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Your fists glow with a magenta light. Your legs do as well at your feet. Uh, you move deftly. You understand this combat space now. Your feet find purchase on its legs as you strike out. It it cracks a little as it forms as it uh, falls slowly. Uh, you hit it a second time with your foot. Uh, you leap up into the air, you flip backwards, you crash down, straddling right behind its neck, and you punch through its head. And you do exactly that. You punch through its head as it starts to turn to dust and form away. Uh, as you fall into the webbing, as it begins to disintegrate. <coughs> <coughs> I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw. Pike, you all right? I'm gonna start to run to him as I make this check. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh no. I may have oh. actually failed a dexterity Oh, I once. fail. Oh, I got a natural ten. one. I actually rolled well. We have a couple, twi and I think Inkibame, thank you. Let me add one more to the pod. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about me. If you have failed, you cannot twist it. Oh, okay. All right, uh, I well, I got a 10. I'll see if that fails. 14. 23. Miraculously. Three. Dread. Dread? Dread? Reroll. Oh, me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Who, me? Who, me? Are you yeah. sure? <laughs> Ooh, natural 20. Hey! <laughs> you got Dread. Oh, oh. So that's a 24, but okay. <laughs> okay. Who's counting? Um, 19. Dread. How many dreads do you, you mother... <laughs> uh, you good? He's got a bunch. Um, 11. What? 
I got a 19. Dread. What? <laughs> uh, wow. Oh. Natural 20. 22. Who's <laughs> giving this dread. guy dreads? There we go. Uh, that's a 15. People give it to him to use it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> you run towards Pike. You start to scramble together. The shape of this spider falls to the ground. You've defeated it. Head fails. Its leg missing, your fists pounding clean through its head as you fall forward, thinking almost as if you'd knocked its head clean off. Uh, your strike's so powerful. Uh, you, you lose your balance a little bit as you tumble towards the webbing. You get a little bit caught in it. Uh, as everyone starts to scramble and move wherever you're uh, heading to go. Um, well, it's starting to make sense a little bit more now. Fuck. As you see from the darkness on the other side of the room, two yellow eyes look out at you. Again? As silver strands of webbing fire out. <laughs> oh, no. And everyone is wrapped up in cocoons. Nice. This time, revealing your heads. Uh, and this time, you are completely restrained. As a figure walks out of the darkness, clad entirely in black, uh, except for a simple woven cloak, tattered and formed of silver silken thread, this glowing is so yellow eyes. He walks forward. I understand a little bit more of what happened, but there's one last piece I need. And he walks over to Labouche, and he stretches out a black, dark hand and he grabs your helmet and he lifts up the visor and he reaches in. Do I feel like I can sloop in or sloop out or like Ooh. to get out of this cocoon in any way? I could struggle in a strength manner, but I'm also an amorphous blobby juicy man. You can try. <laughs> <laughs> juicy. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I will use my movement to endeavor to like if he's li if he's reaching into the into the um He's reaching in to try and grip you effectively by the jaw okay. under your, under your, uh, like. You'll see my eyes and the nerves that you would typically see inside of my head sink down like a turtle into uh, the chest of my um, uh, suit <laughs> and actually and actually like try to like get away and then maybe a hand come out to try to like meet his and, and stop him. <laughs> Yeah, where it just slowly rises up. <laughs> they arm wrestle out of the top of the seat. <laughs> I see you have had a desk job. <laughs> um, you Mr. Dylan! Are <laughs> Dylan! Uh, you are able to uh, retract your eyes and nerves back down uh, into your form. However, uh, your gelatinous goo form uh, is completely paralyzed. Uh, the cocoon is just for show. Oh, uh, yeah, fuck. He reaches forward and grabs under the effect of what is your chin. Uh, and as he holds you, because you're... <laughs> because you're effectively see-through, uh, you can see that at the very ends of his fingers, two piercing uh, tips, almost like mandibles, pierce into your throat. Uh, and you begin to feel a familiar pull. Uh, interesting. This guy is so powerful and scary. This section, completely void to me. And if I try, uh, if I try, uh, uh, and as he struggles to take something from you, uh, is trying to pull his grip hardens around your throat and it begins to become extraordinarily painful. Although you don't have the strength of body to cry out. You feel it in every inch. I don't have a vocal cord or lungs, so in order to cry out, I would have to take a bubble of air into me and make a mouth and produce sound out of it. Of course I can't scream. I'm just in a fucking mind prison of this bitch. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Well then, 
Hmm. Certainly. I will then just have to take it all from you. We can't move in our cocoon. <laughs> Can we say, are we like totally paralyzed? <laughs> I think so. Oh, I haven't said this in a long time, but beyond even my powers. What the hell? <gasps> Holy shit. Flying furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Then I will endeavor to seal it within you. <gasps> and he releases you. And for the first time in the last couple of days, you don't feel hungry. Oh. He turns away from oh. all of you. And as he does, he casts out a hand and the cocoons fall away. You're oh. released. I'm gonna oh. immediately try and throw a sandblast his way, just out of just pure rage for trying to hurt LaBeouf. Roll to oh, attack. Yeah. Love that. What are you going to see some badass thing do? <laughs> yeah, as soon as I think of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let him roll. Let him roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 24 and a 26. Um, both hit. All right. Oh yeah. Shaw. 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 I'm stalling so you clever. guys can think of something so much cooler right, for me. Shaw. 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 Rip. Yeah. Rip. Uh, it's... Uh, right. Don't turn your back on us. We want answers. Oh. And then oh, I don't know why I threw that. So. that nice. yeah. Sometimes five, the dice have to tell the story too. Four. <laughs> Uh, five and four is nine and yeah. ten. Twenty. F- Wait, sorry, five and four is nine. Nineteen <laughs> damage. Nineteen damage. Nineteen damage. Plus, um, he will need to make a strength saving throw. You pull your arms back as the sand swirl around your palms, uh, like the clicking of a clock as they move. Uh, as he paces away. His arms folded behind his back. Uh, you hear very faintly. Uh, as the sands whoosh out and crash into his back. Uh, he doesn't seem to even notice. Oh, oh that was kind of dramatic. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting a call. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the sands crash into his back. They cascade with the silver-threaded... Uh, cloak that falls about his shoulders. Well, this makes sense, then. Something that could pierce even my web can't be seen. This will mean that we won't have much time now. And he turns back towards you. What do you mean? What are you talking about? What the fuck are you? I've had many names. For a long time, people have called me Graham. But I haven't gone by that name in quite some time. Well, I suppose you called me Grim just today. It was nice to do that again. Was any of that fucking real? Yes. A large portion of it. I didn't lie to you. They're discordant here. And for a long time I found my place amongst them. I enjoyed them, but as you know, and his gaze moves towards Chuckles, there are many that think that your kind need to be wiped from existence. Yeah, join the club. I'm used to it. Well, I protected the ones here. I shrouded them. I shrouded this world. So that they couldn't be seen, they couldn't be found. But something changed just a couple of days ago. The magics that protected this place were interrupted 
disrupted. And the world is beginning to reveal itself once again. And that means the Empire won't be far behind. You're saying we're responsible for that? I thought so at first. That's why I brought you here. You trailed a familiar presence. The same energy that cut through my web. And so I reached out, grabbed your ship, and I investigated. Because what could do that to me? It's power beyond even what I could begin to comprehend. So you have no idea what it is, what came from Aurora? I have a fear. But I could not see it, to confirm. And what did you do to me? What is this? It's hard to say, but its essence lingers upon you. I feared it was working to take control, taking over. I tried to remove it from you, but I could not. So I sealed it within. In inside me? Yes. Figures. <laughs> I think we let something out on that planet. Not a, a guy that's in our in our uh, December Ween uh, decoration storage closet. I, I mean Brig. Us, him, who gives a fuck? Something got out. And you just want to protect these people again? I'm afraid that that ship has sailed. They'll be wiped out. Well, they will try. <laughs> Why would they kill you? The Empire exists in balance. It knows not extremes in any direction. They have joy. They have entropy. They have a primal spirit but never in excess. Only what is allowed by the Emperor. When humans move to excess, they are corrupted, in a manner of speaking, by the discordant ones. It's what you see of your friend here. <laughs> Look over and I'm very clearly a corrupted human. <laughs> Yeah, what? so what? It's not as bad as it looks. Yes, it is. It's what you see of my friends. Just above us. Well, that's really bad. I don't disagree with you there. Above? You were directly under Nightingale. Uh, we're under. You were in catacombs beneath Nightingale. Oh my gosh. Look. I've seen what they're capable of. I've seen countless hordes of beastmen overtake entire battalions. But those fuckers up there, they're not gonna hurt anybody. Yeah, actually they're probably the friendliest and most incompetent of all of the uh, zombie boys and spooky boys that I've seen, frankly. But it doesn't look like it. He seems capable enough. You saw what he did to us. But you're not. What are you? You're not discordant, are you? If he wanted to kill us, we'd be dead by now. Right. You, uh, you realize that he's very close to you. He's just inhaled a scent from you. Oh. Uh, and as you look at him, you come to realize that he's standing behind you. No. You have encountered. Primal Discordant. Yeah, I have. And I've yeah. killed my fair share, too. I do not refer to those above. 
as those to be feared, I have endeavored to protect them. I simply mean that now that my magics that have shrouded this world are dwindling, you know where we are. No, I know. We're in the center of Empire space. They will detect this planet. They will detect what they feel is the stink of discordant corruption and they will send a destroyer. And they will attempt to erase this planet. Well, uh, I don't have any sympathy if you'll forgive my crassness. If they were smart, they would scatter across the galaxy like the rest of us. Instead of all grouping up, easily hunted. How stupid could you be? They found somebody to protect them. Yeah, but then look, once the protection is gone, they're doomed. But we're at fault. They're fresh out of luck. Would you be able to hold off this destroyer until we possibly find what broke your spell? What interrupted your power? <clears throat> oh. What shattered the spell that I had around this world can't be undone. I can hold them off for a time, but not forever. And I'm afraid... They're here. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Quicker than they usually are. We need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. I'm with Rhett. There's not much we're gonna be able to do about this. Will you let us go? It won't cause you any more trouble, but I don't want to be on the surface once they start glassing the place. It was never my intention to hold you for long. I simply wanted to listen to your story. Oh! I love a properly woven tale. I will escort you back to your ship. And he begins to walk towards the exit, calmly. I follow. Yeah, same. I don't. I don't delay a second. Yeah, mm -mm. I take same. a cautious step. <laughs> we just run. Uh, I'll follow as well. Yeah. Given now discovering that this weaver has been protecting this planet the whole time, I, I, despite everything we just went through, now trust him, and it looks like he's helped fight or uh, the booth. Mm -hmm. So he's sort of. Gained my trust. He's helped Pike too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More than you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look down at Hank. I'll say, "Fire up the engines, buddy. We got to be quick." Yes, your grace. And bark your orders. Be the dog. Oh! oh gosh, I needed a good laugh after all that. Oh. Oh, by the way, if the Empire does find me, I'm going to be turned into several pieces and scattered across the cosmos, so... They're not going to find you. We'll uh, be fine. We'll just get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get chop-chop-fruited, if you know what I mean. I think the same for me if they catch me. I oh. have something inside. Oh, and Dandy and, and Kavir, probably. Look, none of us are here. friends to the Empire. Oh, oh none of us. All right? Please, let's hurry. I'm just waiting on you. He says from the entrance of the cave. <laughs> we go. He's, He's already yeah, like, we're we're going. Going. You're bolting. <laughs> um, hey, you start <laughs> sprinting uh, out Mr. of the <laughs> tunnel of this cave. And as you crest its opening, you burst out into the darkened forest. You look up into the sky. Uh, and for a moment, uh, you think that the uh, shrouded covering is back in place. You think that he's been able to work his protection magics to re, uh, re shroud this world from the eye of the Empire. And then a crushing realization sets in. It is not the black void of a obscuring spell, as you've always been able to see out. It is the impossibly large form of an Empire class planet Shit. destroyer uh, sitting above you, blocking your vision of space. Uh, How? You've seen, you've heard of this happening before. You know that em the Empire has reached out and destroyed worlds that have not been in <laughs> oh, accordance yeah. with what they deem to be proper. 
You don't know what that process has ever looked like before. <clears throat> and as you start racing towards your ship, uh, you see as certain uh, small specks start to flood out of this destroyer oh, as ships uh, head out and take place on the planet. Uh, they start to fly through the sky over the tree line. Uh, from Nightingale, you see gargoyles take wing, take flight, take to the sky. Uh, large, spread out bats as they also fly out, endeavoring to protect uh, the town, the home that they've come to know. Uh, their protection shattered. Their spirit, strong in force. Uh, they take flight. They engage these ships in combat. And you're running, you're racing back to the Rhapsody as ship, bat, gargoyle are crashing. It blasts, laser, phaser beams firing out. A bat crushed crashes right in front of you as a searing hole cut clean through its chest dies instantly. Um, combat is exploding in the air above you as you race out. You're, you're running through the forest. Uh, as you go, <coughs> you can see uh, in the cobwebs, uh, Grim still moving with you. As Grim or as the Reap Weavers? As Grim, currently. But he's not running. As you move, uh, he is just appearing in the next cobweb along your path. Whoa. Um, he's human. Is he humanoid? Like, in a. Just, is his face totally shrouded? As much as his face is completely shrouded, like very like much head. like Spawn, yeah, okay. but with yellow eyes. So you can't quite get like features from it, but he's shrouded all in black and he has a woven spider's, like tattered spider's cloak. Imagine a uh, male black arachnid. As, <laughs> as we're running, uh, trying to get back to the ship, I'm going to turn to Rhett and also offhandedly address Chuckles and say, uh, I can't believe I'm going to suggest this, but Chuckles, how fast can you fire up FTL? Oh, gosh. I've been waiting to jump into the honkwe for a while. I think it might be our only option to get out of here in a jiffy. I think you're right. I don't know what other option we have left. The alternative is better than that thing. Just be ready to do it, all right? Yeah. Keep it in your back pocket. You don't want to draw the Empire's eye to you as you escape. Oh, so that's a good point. Yeah. And as he says that, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, you've seen <laughs> small kind of blinking lights, almost like uh, falling snow uh, coming off of this ship. Innumerable ships have flown out to take flight over this place. Uh, until you see one larger uh, speckled blue light beam down, not beam, but crash down uh, as it releases from the uh, destroyer. Uh, and it crashes in a clearing just ahead of you as you race out oh, towards it. Right as you break through the branches, you see a massive, uh, very reminiscent of Labusha's ship when he takes to aerial combat. You see what is, looks very much like a Gundam mech. Holy shit. It's a Gundam! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been waiting my entire life to say that. Okay. <laughs> you stop running immediately. <laughs> it's, I'm, it's in front of us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you skid. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it stands in front of you as Grim walks forward. Uh, and it says, The stink of discordant has been detected on this world. Its judgment is eradication. Well... I can't let you do that. <laughs> I was hoping you would say that. Um, and it blasts forward this massive blue uh, gun. I mean, it erupts from the spot. It cracks the earth in an explosion as it moves with full force. A giant beaming axe pulled from its back as it crashes down. 
uh, Grim reaches up with a hand and catches the blade, but the oh. force so aggressive, it slams the ground beneath his feet and it cracks in a massive radius once again. As he catches the blade, giant uh, missile cannons flip open on its shoulders uh, as it fires out innumerable uh, pepper spray bombs I that start to coat yeah. this I'm forest. back in the tree We're line. all taking cover. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. this. I would run back to your ship if I were you. You should be able to move quickly like this. Uh, and you look down at yourselves and you're all squirrels. Squirrels? Squirrels. Oh, I just, I, book it. I bolt for the yeah. ship. Do I have any powers along the squirrel? Sure. Oh. You can find nuts. <laughs> oh. You can climb yes. trees. I'm kidding, you have your powers. I'm I'll be a little squirrel, pull off my tiny little hat. <laughs> Mister with Spider, I know we had our differences, but good luck and fuck up these bootlickers. And I'm gonna pull out a tiny balloon and I'll make a little balloon spider as I'll flick it over to him as I give him a last bardic inspiration. Sick. As I yeah, I would say we know this thing. We li- we bo- we trust this thing, and yeah. we just fucking sprint. I frantically yeah, yeah. yeah. sprint. We're out of here. Ship. Start sprinting towards the ship. You're racing as you go, following the familiar path. You're cascading. (laughs) Your bushy tails bouncing as you race. You move to the trees. You're running. Uh, As you see, you see explosions of combat behind you. Right before you leave the clearing, uh, Grim rests the axe for but a moment from this uh, sentinel and slams it into the side of him in a broad-faced format. Uh, you'll see the cloak almost come to life as silver strands fly out, grabbing ships in the air. Wrapped in cocoons, he pulls them to the ground, Holy crashing shit, and exploding dude. as he fights to save this, this world. Uh, you race towards the ship. Uh, as you get there, uh, you are not met by the Rhapsody. Instead, you are met by an impossibly large space whale. What the? Uh, I get it. Get in its mouth. <clears throat> yeah, we. I would say we would attempt to board the Rhapsody. You move into its mouth and you realize that you have stepped up the gangplank, the gangway of the Rhapsody. This is so fucking cool. Oh. The engines whir to life as cobwebs fall He's from your ether, yeah. uh, your ether drive. Uh, everything that held you down as you race to the bridge. You are see. Are we still squirrels? Or we get we're back to. You were squirrels as you run through the raps. When you okay. get to the bridge, you're. you're That's pretty cool. That's pretty no, cool. I like you on the bridge yeah. console having to like run from one side <laughs> yeah. of the console yeah. and then hit a button and then run to the other side of the console and hit a button and then run. Yeah. Use your weight to pull an entire <laughs> lever down. Uh. You enter it, and you know that you're in the Rhapsody. The console stretches out in front of you. Uh, But you can also see, as you look out, that the form of a giant space whale uh, shrouds the Rhapsody from normal sight. You begin to take off and fly away. As you're you're punching through space, uh, you see war destruction break out in all directions around you. Ships gunning down creatures of the night, bats falling from the air, gargoyles exploding into stone. Uh, you see off in the distance uh, the some of the people you had come to meet in the town of Nightingale fighting to protect it. Amelia with scalpel in hand trying to do oh, what shit. she can uh, to drop uh, raiders that have come to destroy all discordant. Uh, and as you fly away uh, from the planet, uh, you see a uh, blast erupt from its center as it punctures a large hole uh, in straight into the center of the planet. I thought you'd have more time. Uh, I'll take off my hat. I wouldn't even be looking. I would just be so focused on steering, like, past any fighters that I can see or any ships. I'll be 100% like military mode, just focus on my task of piloting this. And, you know, Hank will be, like, using his mouth to, like, turn knobs and using his nose to flip levers. And I'm sort of doing the same thing and and steering as best I can. 
you kick everything into gear. You're no stranger to combat. You're no stranger to war. The things that would rattle the common person don't affect you. You are in, you are zoned off. You are compartmentalizing the situation. Everything is chaos around you, but the task at hand needs to be complete. Pilot through chaos. You fly your space whale through all the other ships that are battling. Uh, they seem to think that that's pretty strange, but they don't take notice of you in a threatening manner uh, because of how you present. Uh, and uh, you're able to navigate through them. Uh, I need you to roll a group perception check. Oh. Me too. Or oh, natural no, 20. Oh. Oh, let's see, let's see. 14. Roll for Nine. dandy. Oh. Who's the blue one? Because we're in space. I'm just going to find a d20. Like, that's all. <laughs> oh. Well. Okay. Uh, perception, you say? Oh. <clears throat> we're level Oh, no. Casey, Casey can roll first. Oh, yeah. 21 for me. Perception check. <gasps> that's where you're a Viking. <gasps> yeah. You should have plus eight to that, I imagine. Um, a six. <laughs> Ten. Nine. Fourteen. Mm. No. That's not. Nat 20, yeah. Twenty-one. Am I still an idea? <laughs> no. On the balloon? Right, you're punching the ship into overdrive as the Rhapsody is sailing through the skies as you move away. Uh, you all move to the windows as you just are trying to circle out of this combat and move in any direction that takes you away from this. Um, You'll all see the explosions on the planet's surface as bombs go off and things start to level every sign of life on the planet. Uh, for a simple, brief moment, Chuckles, you have one familiar sense, even from this distance, as you catch the faintest glimpse of what seems to be silver webs uh, wrapping around a section of the planet. And then you see a blue movement rise up into space from the planet's surface. And an eruption blast emanates from it into the hole that was formed by its initial bombing as it pierces the core of the planet and it starts to disintegrate. We'll meet again, spooky boys. The Mr. with Spider. <laughs> I think our paths won't not cross again. What a terrible day for space, Rain. <laughs> You're just crying. <laughs> I was being poetic, Laboose! <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, tears will, will gush out of my... Uh, as I have stand there looking and kind of having this visceral antagonistic relationship with this opposite of the motley ends of and and the the thrill and the revelry and then but then realizing at the end of the day that they're basically just like me mm -hmm. uh and just seeing like what the empire does to all those touched by the discord and i'll just basically just stay there in uh morning in morning yeah not in silence because i'm i'm actively crying <sighs> oh space rape <sighs> Well, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna go check on Rex. <laughs> he might just be like, <laughs> he might have got a cross. He might be dead. <laughs> you know, so I, if we, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, I just like as I as I finish that, I'm gonna look at the rest of the gang and say, uh. I swear, if we lose this bounty too, and I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna go check, I'm just gonna walk off and check the brig. Br the brig. Rhett, you've been flying uh, exceptionally through the chaos around you. You're able to break line on the Empire gunships. You erupt out from under this world-class destroyer. 
uh, and you break out into calm space. Uh, you're now free to fly normally. Pike, as you move towards the brig, uh, you walk through the uh, lounge area. You'll notice that all of the largemouth William Bass fish have been stolen from the ship. Uh, the ukulele playing equivalent of Santa Claus. Sandy Claus. Yeah, this is all very good. Santa news. The, yeah. the Santa Man. The Santa Man. Santa Man. Who stole this? Uh, I don't like where it's going, but this is good news. Is gone. Uh, the pine needles uh, is gone. Uh, you move towards the brig, uh, and you tap the panel, boop, 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 the beams come up, you walk inside, uh, and laying on the center of the bed is an unlit cigarette. And the ether shackles gone? The ether zip ties are cut. And Damn. lying on the floor. We should have. We should have let Labouche turn him into a puppet. <laughs> uh, uh, I will. That's my name is Red. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stand there for a moment. Uh, I'll stand there for a moment. I'll let out an audible sigh. I'll walk over the bed. I'll pick up the cigarette, put it in my mouth, light it, and return back to the brig. Or the bridge. It's an unusually high quality cigarette as you draw on it. It is particularly relaxing. Oh, as you walk back to the bridge. Yeah, if you lace it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you wacky? turned into a mom. Is that wacky? wacky? <laughs> <laughs> That's a wacky. Yeah. I put up and stab a giant needle in your heart. Yeah. I am the moth man. Uh, it's I'm fucking dying on me, man. Um, I have a master plan. <laughs> yeah, I just returned to the I returned to the bridge to find what the rest of the crew is doing. Cool. You do so. How is Rex? He escaped. He escaped. Yep, he somehow managed to cut the ether ties. That means he's probably dead on that planet. I have a feeling he's alive somewhere. How? Are we all of our ships here on the on the on on the, the rhapsody? Somebody check the hangar. Oh, this is when this is when all of a sudden I'm. <laughs> and I, I run to make sure that spa the sparrow is there. Oh, I immediately God. run to the hangar to see if the sparrow is there. I, I bolt too. Oh! Oh, Glob! Oh, Grod! Oh, Glob! Grod! God! Oh! Uh, next, this is uh, gonna be the ultimate mechanic. Red, I just pull up the screen of the hangar. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is far too important. Far too important. All right, any of the ships missing? However, whoever wants to go. Starts sprinting towards the hangar. I'm going. Um, you race. You go down that hexagonal hallway, so familiar. You're running. You're running. Uh, the door. You don't even have to stop. It just cascades open as you move through. You break into the hangar bay, skidding in the dead center of the room. You take a quick inventory, and one ship is missing. <gasps> Which one? Is the ship that you would normally use to make planet fall as a team. The bus. <laughs> <laughs> the shuttle bus. <laughs> the Volkswagen bug. I, I immediately put <sighs> both hands on my knees, and then I look up to where I know that the camera is in the bay and say, It's okay, Rhett. He just took that lame bus. <laughs> he took my what? It's as you breathe this sigh of relief. <sighs> he didn't get the sparrow, it's still here. You look at it, uh, just run your hand over your baby, uh, and you see just behind the wing, uh, Rex has tagged it. <laughs> Rex was here. You see that familiar <laughs> solar elf gleam and smile. If this was if this was an anime, it would go back to the bridge, and you would hear me screaming from <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yes. from the uh, from the hangar. Yeah! Look what he 
and then, like, and then you hear, like, oh, calm down. Like, oh, what oh, are you oh, doing? Oh, no. oh, 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 it's it's all over. What? It's okay. It's okay. No, we're all alive. I should have left you on the ship, hey. And me kicking the, I'm kicking the sparrow's wheels. Damn, that's good. So good. What does it say? Uh, he just tagged it. Right? It is a, uh, it is a golden star, uh, that borders around, uh, Rex Maxim's face. Uh, it is almost the exact same gleaming headshot from his wanted poster. <laughs> uh, equipped with the, uh, bright white gleaming smile sparkling at the edge of his mouth. Is it, is it photorealistic? Is it cartoony? Like, what is it Oh, it's, like? it's cartoony. Okay. Yeah, it's like, so it's like yeah. art. It's yeah, like it's, it's, like, like, oh, it's, yeah. it's yeah. radical. It's, it's the radical it's, Edward. It's, yes, exactly. It's hundred percent the radical yeah. Edward you. tag. Yeah, yeah. but him. <laughs> did he? Did he tag? That's not coming out. Tag my uh, saucer. Uh, he stopped trucking that saucer. <laughs> uh, no, he did not take out his <laughs> oh, saucer. I'll say, oh, good news, Pike. <laughs> I'm good! <laughs> I'm still in the bank. I'm still in the hangar. Yeah, me too. I'm with you. 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 Oh! He didn't get the clown car. Oh! Oh! Uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm just going to hang out in the hangar. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. It, it, depending on how you want to handle this, what would happen is hours would pass. Yeah. And I would no. not have been removed from the hangar. You would eventually come back and find me, and I would be in like. Uh, uh, like a, a shitty white t-shirt and like shorts and I'd be like scrubbing the <laughs> I'd be like scrubbing the sparrow trying to get it off you know yeah. and, yeah, I, and yeah. it'd be like soap and I'd have a bucket and I'd be like LaBouche get me more cleaning supplies it's not coming out 100% <laughs> in the anime this just cuts back to the bridge and you are screaming from the hangar yeah. bay and as we wrap up the post credit scene is you in the yeah. hangar yeah. Yeah. scrubbing <laughs> furiously <laughs> again <laughs> Fly yeah. me to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it writes itself. It really does. It writes itself. Uh, At December we <laughs> I'm yours, baby. <laughs> oh, he left one on the bed. Oh, it's a December we miracle. <laughs> and, and that one. Is <laughs> That one was also tagged, and it had like a little, you know, it was like a like a present to you. It was tagged. Yeah, that's what was tagged. It, it, looks, like, it looks like Rex Maxim saying, "Yeah, yeah. Bobby to December." Oh! Yeah. oh, and then all the color. This is an anime. All the color would once again drain out of my face, and I I would just walk back silently exactly. to my room. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Well, <laughs> now what? Uh, I'd say to Hank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, Rhett. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I hear all the time. Does <laughs> yeah. Hank still have his purple crown? Yeah, uh, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he <laughs> He's still wearing his purple crown. Uh, and you'll, you'll actually see, uh, you can see it now easily. You weren't really paying attention before. Uh, you were so over what was going on in Night and Vale at the time. Uh, the emblem the on the crown was a circular spider web mm. <gasps> oh. that sat in the center. Wow. Um, well, with no mark uh, collected, no bounty to cash in on, uh, we do have what he stole. Oh. So knowing mm -hmm. that, and knowing what I know about bounties, would it still be valuable to bring back the key to the boss? Or is it, or would it make sense to be like, no, we need to find Rex before Why, we go, before we show question. face again? That's a great question. And maybe if that's up to us, that's fine. I just like, like based on sort of our bout, at least, you know, the, the two of us are bounty hunting savvy. I think based on your shared experience, what you've been through, who Rex is, run-ins you've had in the past, uh, you would think that at this stage it would be very difficult to find him yeah. with no clues. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what you have are the things he stole, and you know, or you suspect, that those were very important to the boss. And you might think that returning those, or attempting to, uh, would be a valid next step. 
I knew I should have installed a tracer on the shuttle bus. <laughs> It'd probably be worth more than the ship itself. All right, gang. I think we just turn in the key and explain what happened. How do we explain what happened? <clears throat> well, we recovered what was stolen from him, and just he slipped away. Like he fucking always does. How the fuck does he do it, Pike? Is it like a solar elf thing? No, I'm not sure. He's just crafty. Next when time we catch him, I'll break his legs. <laughs> Wait a second. Happy base. I second that. <laughs> that thing you do, where you like slip through space? Yeah, the starlight step. You can probably do that too, can he? Maybe. But I don't know how he'd be able to cut the ether shafts. Well, I'm just wondering if maybe he does that and just the cuffs stay behind. Were they were they actually cut like severed or did they look like they were just sitting? Oh. <clears throat> That's interesting. They looked like they had been they looked like they had been scorched off. Mm -hmm. You saw That's where, unusual. where they were split, there were burn marks at the edges. Yeah. I'd guess that he had some sort of tool hidden on him. One last trick up his sleeve. Oh, right. Should have checked the pocket. <laughs> He's forfeited all decency, and Labouche is thoroughly checking next time. <laughs> All right, well, Dandy. You know what they say. Easy come, easy go. I'll uh, finally, after uh, changing into my bathrobe, uh, <laughs> a white beater, uh, heart boxers, and my rabbit slippers, I'll step up with uh, a, a big uh, um, world best FTL drive <laughs> mug. Mm -hmm. FTH. FTH drive, FTH drive. And I'll place it in the new coffee machine. And once again, there's uh, my five o'clock shadow. It's all just cinnamon. <laughs> it's all just cinnamon. I've been eating cinnamon like pastries. <laughs> the cinnamon powder yeah. donuts. Yeah. And I'll be, I would have heard this and I'll say, you know, guys. <laughs> it still doesn't work. I don't think we're going to be seeing Rex for a while. He got put on a bus. <laughs> yeah. Well fucking played, dude. That's actually very funny. That's very funny. I don't think we're going to be seeing him for quite a while. I'm getting my shuttle back. One day. One way or another. But for now, Dandy, set a course to the rendezvous point. I'll go up and start navigating from my palm. I'll call it in. And I'll go to the computer and I'll dial up whoever, you know, was on the bounty to let them know, hey, we're on our way. And we have, uh, we have the, uh, stolen goods is what I, is all I will say. And you call that in. You relay that information. You get a positive for the agreed upon meeting point. As Dandy plots the map. And you all settle in for what you're doing for the rest of the night. Right at the helm. Punching into space, Dandy plotting the course, Chuckles drinking, <laughs> making coffee. He never drinks making coffee. Always being made. I'm and cleaning the toilet because I've discovered that Rex clogged it before we left. He had for breakfast. Oh, son of a bitch! My body is pain! He gets the last laugh. This is absolutely the biggest son of a bitch bastard. All of us. Yeah, this guy, this guy sucks. This guy really sucks. Yeah. Uh, You're right, he is a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> My last note for Rex was jackass, Mike. Yeah, he is a jackass. That's what I'm saying, man. He's got no common decency. He's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Chuckles drinking coffee. <laughs> Labouche cleaning the toilet. <laughs> oh, this tastes like shit! <laughs> Kavir also on the bridge, 
potentially checking to ensure that you have the goods on you. Uh, as the Rhapsody punches out into deep space. And as you do this, uh, the form of the space whale that encapsulated the, the ship uh, begins to fade away as weakly thin strands of webbing cast off into space behind you and fade into black. And that is where we won the session. Oh, oh man. well done, Mace. Oh, man. I have so much to say, it's not even funny. Thanks for on the session, man. <laughs> wow. You did an awesome job today. Not awesome job. Out of the park. <laughs>